all right guys welcome welcome back to the imaxit youtube channel i'm your host jd if you're new please do smash that like button share and definitely subscribe if you are a member of the channel massive massive respect to you lot and how to become a member please do click the join button if it's available to you if you're having trouble um seeing the join button what you could do is to go into the description and you will see join now and then from that point after clicking it youtube will help you along the way all right so you saw by the title big clash coming up jamaica versus canada we are going to be breaking down all of the games in that took place yesterday or we got to this point and then we are going to work on the opponent so we're going to give you the maximum um power the, the roster from canada could have and all of those things vice versa for other countries calling is open and also the discard will be opened as well let me make sure to start by giving um everyone that comes in early some big up we have bestest documentary massive respect we have ruler in the building massive respect dean fraser in the building massive respect my brother Dwayne thomas in the building and then my other brother jc ferdan sack passe in the building all right last night we had some very very good matches and you know once it's a conquer cuff we are going to be chopping it up all right we have the big dogs in in action yesterday we had mexico in action we had united states in action we are going to just make sure to give you those um scores um from now all right yes last time united states never feared up well against germany they got armored against germany 3-1 yes but this time they were much much better they had um four goals past a Ghanaian team all right which we expected much much better from the Ghanaian team but credit to united states to put hell put the CONCACAF region on the map they have started with matt turner in goal sergina des miles robinson chris richards and lon at the back line in midfield you have johnny and eunice musa and up front you have timothy way giovanni reina christian Pulisic, and um falarin balagan all right yes and they went up against uh uh a Ghanaian team that's trying to get their thing together but both teams were trying to get their things together so we're not going to play any excuse games here all right um Nuruddin in goal um Seydou at right back um Apoku at um right center back Apoku Jerome Apoku that is at left side center back and you have Mensa as the right back in midfield Thomas Party and Ado as the two deep line and then up front you had Kudos Ayu Payne still and Inaki Williams so it was a good enough team and they got destroyed by the united states team four goals to nil all right yes so on both legs jigana lost in the kankakaf so at least the big teams in the kankakaf stood up and made themselves counted anyways now you had mexico went up against germany because it's a twist cross type of series all right yes so that one ended 2-2 two -two. the mexicans them showcased what i was telling people about the mexicans they had start they started um down as you could see um rudiger took the lead 25 minutes then you have Uriel and Tuna um, equalized on the 37th and then they took back the they, they took the lead for the first time Eric Sanchez um, assisted by um, Antuna again uh, to make it 2-1 and then Falkra, um made it 2-2 all right for the Mexicans and um, Germany the Mexican team Achoa in goal backline George Sanchez right back Cesar Montes right side is center back Vasquez left side is center back Jesus Gallardo um, left back and then in midfield edson alvarez luis roma and then up front now you had uriel antuna eric sanchez irvin lazano and santiago jimenez all right yes and they went up uh, up against tastegan in goal jonathan ta sule um rudiger and um rubin gozin and then in midfield you have pascal groves and um ikai gundagan up front um florian verts um musiala lira Sane, and um thomas Muli um up front all right so it was two good teams it was two good teams 
it was two good teams in action and um mexico proved that they had a good window they are in sync and they are going to be a troublesome team they remain the first rank kanga team all right so that will serve for the discussion later all right yeah man so big ups to the kanga to to make it be known played two good teams worldwide all right and stood up all right both of them they got results in all right so the top of the tree in the kanga looking beautiful so far all right um real ball a massive respect thanks for being here um andrew um chambers um fabi frano massive respect as well jace laguna and drew ross um uh, massive massive respect trevis in the house said i max it um checking all right big up yourself big up yourself uh, so early you yeah, talk about jamaica no um trevis um you have to just listen to what i'm talking about then you will know what i'm talking about all right <laughs> Anyways, let me move on. Let me we switch over um, to the setup, setup so we can go into the games to give everyone their credit. All right. We discussed Jamaica Group, which was CONCACAF Nations League, League A, Group B. All right. Jamaica finished first of that group. And also, Honduras finished second um, in that one. Suriname third. And um, vice... Um, I think Suriname third, then Cuba fourth. So we had um, AD and Grenada got relegated. All right. So we had some matchups today waiting on the steaming matchups. Curacao versus T Trinidad and Tobago. I picked Curacao to win that one. We are going to deep dive in it. I am El Salvador, Martinique, nil nil. Uh, we're going to deep dive into that one. Panama, Guatemala, three nil. Panama, we picked Panama for that one. All right. So pretty much all of the results um right here we got um correct so that is amazing love my team yet again um on the shows because every single damn one of the results we got correct right there so that is amazing all right so people make sure we hit 200 likes on this video to push it out there make sure you leave your thoughts um as to anything you have heard right here and want to have a, a extended discussion inside the the com um the comment section all right yes so let me start with this one curacao curacao the last time curacao was the better team against Trinidad and tobago all right but missing chances kenji ore and others never looked so sharp and so i um trinidad left it late all right yes so anyways let me just move with the statistic first before we get into the personnel that played um the, the position was very much um closed and the shots was seesaw as you could see 17 shots to 24 on top of the shots on target it's 10 to 4 right there and the shots blocked was amazing 16 shots in total got blocked that was amazing um right there all right yes and as you saw right here curacao it would work um once so this is a starting lineup all right and we know what the question the questions will be asked about curacao why you left it so late you were in all of these games maybe aside even the panamanian game they were involved in it and pretty much not overrun but so why is it you turned up to do so bad you know all right so you have Terva Ter 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 um in goal um nathan Markelo, markelo and you have um urian um gari and you have um Ejma as well as the center back and you have Oginia as the right back they have Vernon Anita which you guys might know him um, a legend from a long time now yes you have Kuas um, Godfrey and Bakuna the the Juninho Bakuna and you have Kenji Hore and you have Janga up front all right and for Trinidad and Tobago you had Denzel Smith in goal um, Arby David Alvin Jones Justin Garcia Russ Russell Rampasad, Ax Aksha, um, Poon um, Egeran, and you have Telfa with um, Kelly Overy, and up front you have Rian Moore. All right, yes, ended five. 
three um, in total. Five three in total, and these are the stats right here. Um, Curaçao went up two. Janga, the first one assisted by Kuas. Then you have Godfried assisted by Konji, Kenji Uri. Finally, he's doing something. Then he gets a penalty um, for himself, so he has an assist and a goal right there. Then a penalty missed by Kuas right here. Bakuna a penalty after, and Janga is second goal of the day. Um, Lee Kim. Lee Kim um, scored and um, Rian Moore scored. All right, and then the third one come, came from Karim Karim Moses to finish it off. But based on the night, I thought that Curacao was still the better team. They were creating the, the better opportunities, and Trinidad once they came out to play because this was the final battle. You could see the problems that we have um, with Trinidad. You could see it. All right. So you could see the level that they truly at. And they are not at Curacao's level. And they are not at the top team's level as yet. But they are getting there and will be better once the time comes. Um, like once they keep on getting game time and their best pieces comes in, they are going to be significantly better. All right. Yes. So this is a, a step in the right dif direction for um, Angus and Trinidad. Yes. So let's see what they have to offer um, again. All right. Yes. They are going to get an next opportunity. We are going to get um, to that. All right, guys. We have 80 people in the house already. As what we said, as they come in, first thing to do is to hit the, the, the like button because um, that is the best way for the visibility to be here. All right. Yes. And I wish in the future we, can't, we, we, have, we don't have to tell you to hit the like button every single time. All right. Yes. And I won't um, tell you every single time. I think um, we have said enough. And right at the top, we have pinned a link. So for people that are always want to support the show because a lot of people always say they are struggling to find the links and they want to support the show the link is pinned there so you just click it and support the show it's still going to come up on the screen um as um naturally of a super chat but what it does it pays us more for what we have done all right so for our work all right yes so let me go back through the chat then we move over Anita was in the Dutch system, used to play for Newcastle. Fabi, I, I know that. That's why I said he's a legend. All right. Travis, um, Corsa is still not good at JD. Rola, uh, massive respect. Thanks for being here. Um, Rahelio, um, how are you doing, man? Big up, big up. Thanks to you as well. Um, Omar said, Corsa score on TNT quite easily. USA going to beat down TNT 6-0 if USA start all their stars. And then we have um, Drew Ross in the building. Massive respect, Drew us zay in the building thanks for being here um Chip, chevy said e eve angus eve better go look some english barn tnt oh my god leave the man alone chevis <laughs> jay saguna and we have property for sale in the building all right let me move on to this team um because this this is one of the perfect example um examples we have always talked about uh, as in quality players um and quality teams coming through martinique nil nil in this game and martinique never looked out of place again all right as you could see 62 percent to 38 but 10 shots created out of their um, 38% and 2 shots on target and against 19 to 4 alright 19 to 4 one big chance from El Salvador but if you watch the game on the counter as though and they, they, they are on the counter but they also protect the ball well enough alright yes and they were a threat the entire day alright and could have actually nicked it alright yes so big ups to Martinique they have e expanded on themselves than uh, uh, past the last time we saw them um, playing 10 men uh, with 10 men against Costa Rica and Costa Rica had to pull out a last minute winner to pass them so Martinique is here and they are producing qualities all right obviously you know that they do bring in players from the French region and stuff so everyone bringing their own imports here and there so it's good to look at those teams and hence why we said that um, qualifiers uh, for all competitions in the CONCACAF is getting drastically harder and harder if you are not the top three all right so big ups to martinique they get to stay in this region which is the league a format of the nation's league um because they acquired seven points 
um, because they acquired seven points. And Guatemala finished on four points. Um, Corazon on three. El Salvador, Salvador on one right there. Trinidad and Tobago um, finished on nine. And Panama finished on ten. All right. So um, exactly as what we have said, we our show yesterday did a good thing because Jason made a stance as to what he thought the interpretation is. I said what I said because I had the privy, privy knowledge coming from the people that wrote the thing. All right. I thought that they did not write it properly as well. It was confusing. Yes. So I clearly understand. Me and Jason talked behind closed doors. So it, it goes on the side that uh, Mikey was right. Mikey turned up to be right with, uh, with what he said because Mikey was the only one stood up. All right. Yes. But this is not about anybody being right. Just try, want to make sure you know that um, what they have said, it, they, what they have said initially, it stood up different from what the written, written statement was. All right. They made some clarification on the Instagram and uh, after contacting me um, and, and also on the, 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 the Twitter as well. So you can go there and, and see it outlined much, much more more clearer all right but i i knew it from day one so that's why i told you that's the format they are going to go with so um the re reason why you know it's a format if you never get a chance to check twitter um on trinidad and tobago would be ranked below trinidad and tobago would be ranked below honduras so if they were going to use it in a ranking system with the actual teams that qualified trinidad and tobago could not get a higher seed than honduras the four highest rated teams are mexico first united states second canada third and also costa rica fourth obviously costa rica got leapfrog but at that time when they made this the selection costa rica was ahead of panama so they were the fourth ranked team now they are in the fifth position and i think that comes with double losses against in Panama itself that really hurt them all right yes but anyways um, what 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 that says now um, for the, what that says now in in the, the, the bracket of you have um, a B1 and B2 so Trinidad uh, Trinidad is B1 and Honduras is B2 so that explains the exact settings that they have posted on the inst the Twitter and also the Instagram so based off that being B1 and B2 it simply means Honduras would get the third rung um, the, 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 the first rung team so Honduras would be playing Mexico based off the ranking and then Trinidad and Tobago would be playing United States based off the actual performance index so it goes back to what we're saying just to prove that it's accurate all right yes so we have Trinidad and Tobago versus United States Honduras versus Mexico that is for B1 and B2 all right yes and then that's how you get um A1 and A2 Panama will be taking on the the stronger out of no the the the, the weaker out of it so it's panama would be taking on um costa rica which would be ranked fourth at the time all right and i think that they gave themselves themselves a good chance i actually think panama might slightly better than costa rica overall now they have defeated them twice or maybe three times i am not sure either draw or three times completely in the last three times all right so either two and one draw or three losses costa rica has to panama all right so panama going into this one feeling that they could they can take over um the system all right think that they can fully um get the best out of um the, their team and at this point courage skiller is pretty much the best midfielder um at, at least that's what kankakov rates him as the best midfielder so um they have a pair of players you have to give them credit they they, they are they are they're very good all right yes and that's how um and that's how um hold on hold on hold on let me clear that so panama Honduras, uh, okay, so Panama versus Costa Rica, and then Jamaica go and take the third spot. So Jamaica will be playing Canada, 
all right so these are how it, the way it sets up so on the 16th of november um obviously they are going to give you the time soon the first leg will be in jamaica and it's going to be jamaica versus panama versus canada panama on the 16th versus costa rica as well we will get the times obviously united states they are bigger representatives so their matches have already been scheduled from the 17 they give you the time um and it's my time i think if you cal calculate that it might goes to i i can't do the calculation now because maybe it will change sometime you know yes and then honduras mexico time is yet yet to be decided all right so the only time we have is um is united states trinidad all right so that's how it sets now all right so now we know about the rules and we move on from there all right um let me get into the conversation. Lulu says, big up, big up to you. Um, Warren Webster, massive respect. Corey, massive respect. Rasta Gale, big up yourself, always supporting the channel. Marcelo, bless up yourself as well. Sherman Scott in the Berlin. Siobhan Hutchinson, a massive respect. Jason Blessed, massive respect. Dark Beskar as well. Rasta Gale says, big up JD, amazing job, bro. You continue to impress with your truth, your passion, and the, your dedication. Keep pressing, keep producing the high quality work. We will always do so africans bless up yourself thanks for being here we're going to open the discard soon so people can get in and give their take but we have the phone call so people can call in via the phone i will just drop it and you give me a take as to what you think about the draw for jamaica and if you're supporting a different country feel free to call in because this is a kankakaf platform are my platforms are kankakaf even though i do um, predominantly um predominant jamaican contents all right um sure sure done bless up yourself thanks for being here um drew Ross said he's, he agrees um uh, we will need our strongest team thus far to beat the canadians we are going to get into how strong the canadian team is so people can be educated on the canada team all right yes um true we have to go play canada in a for minus 40 degrees all right <laughs> marcus bless up yourself the excuse him flying out already all right i pray pinock will be fit i pray as well all right yes because those matches will be big matches all right um let me go through it um andrew 55 massive respect as well um chevis says um Chevy said, JD, oh, Karis Keeler so good. That Kankakov say him are the best defense, a midfielder. I don't know him. I don't know. He's very good. I think he's going to get a move soon. He's going to get a move soon. He's going to get a move soon. All right. Okay, Jason dropped the time and his time zone. Thank you very much for that, Jason. Massive respect. Marcos says, USA eight Trinidad guts um, from the time Trinidad knocked them out. Well, they have a pretty much beating to give trinidad <laughs> so best trinidad, trinidad just forgot about this game and just move on to the next stage of qualifying the, the next one waiting waiting on the next loser to fight for a place because i can tell you people uh, these two legs will be a massacre <laughs> united states chop up Big bad Ghana. <laughs> Alright. I I don't think Trinidad have much of much of a chance, people. It's uh with everybody, Trinidad, um, if two legs they don't concede six goals, God come. Alright, yes, I am not I am my Trinity people, I'm very sorry. But I think you know the truth as well. The Americans are firing. Alright, yes. <laughs> Yes, so I have I will just leave that part alone, all right? Yeah man people, uh 116 house or are we not at 200 likes as yet? I don't know. All right, live up and Kankak of Bath. Yes man, we are um out here. All right. So let me move on to um let me move on to um, the Panama Guatemala game. Panama Guatemala 3 0. All right. Complete, um, solid game from them. 60% ball position, um, 16 shots to 5, 8 on target to 1. And um, their big chances created is 2. They missed one of those um, big chances. All right. So let me move on to the, their starting lineup because we have to map these things. All right. So, um, Mascara um, in goal, uh, Morillo 
um, Fidel Escobar, Cardoba, and Andreas Andrade, and you have Martinez with Carisquila. All right, as you saw there, Carisquila have an injury on, the, on his name, so I think they will want him to make sure he's 100%. All right, yes, um, Luis Rodriguez, Jose Luis Rodriguez, and you have Bassinas playing attacking midfielder, uh, fielder, and then you have Eric Davis. I don't know which position this man really truly plays, but he just plays anywhere um, he wants to play on the day. All right, and he's going to be effective as you saw him got a penalty right there. And also, I will say, um, Fayardo as well. And then, um, this is the lineup that they do have for Guatemala, which is Hagan in goal, um, Jose Pinto, Samaya, and uh, you have Jose uh, Morales with um, um, Gardillo and Jose Hardan. Then you have Maya Halton, Savar uh, Saravia. Um, Castellanos and um, Mendez Leng with Rubio Rubin up front, the American um, Guatemalan. All right, yes. So their team was a good team, and to be honest, can, uh, the Panama Panama does on a roll, um, on a roll. All right, they they they're just on a tear at this point. All right, yes, and they're just tearing up all teams aside from the top. Two teams, I could say. Aside from the top two teams, they are tearing up all teams. All right, yes. Carrasquilla, top midfielder, J.A. Some people don't have eyeballs. <laughs> Big up yourself, uh, um, um, Sean. All right, and Star Starboy Juice Philly says, Bless, bless J.D. from Philly. Great content. Yeah, man, we will keep on spazzing them out. All right, don't worry yourself. From the other day, we are much more active, and I saw the people them coming back to the real top 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 show you know yes man marcus mosiah said i would love jamaica fans to go on the usa page and hear how they burn out the team that lost to germany to ashes yes but um i as what we explained yesterday those things are just not going to um be so close to jamaican um inside jamaica i think it's just a little bit further um back uh, a few years or maybe a decade or so you know up to what's going on now whether it's a good thing or a bad thing i don't know um no panama beat america too um yes they beat america g mills but we have to be honest ourselves um america none of those players that panama plays played will be playing in um, America's real team. America's real team is what that, what just gave um, Ghana f um, four, you know? So, um, yeah, it's not the same. So, remember, you're talking to me. I have the stats in my head. So, yeah. Um, another scotch up. Big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Mirak says, Guatemala g gave away um, that game with the red card. Guatemala was in it until um, the red card. Okay, okay. All right, that's what Mirak says. Massive respect. Rolando Henry, how, you are, how are you doing? Good morning. Morning. Who will Jamaica play in the quarterfinals? Um, it is. It no, um, no, G Mills said it does not matter. It matters, G Mills. All right. You know what? I'm going to ask you, G Mills. I'm going to show you how life is funny. Um, you have your last dollar because clearly your life, your life and life support, and you have your last five hundred dollars. Which one of the teams you would have pick on? Pick on? Panama versus this United States team uh, with um, with the Pulisic and the Giovanni Arena and all of them, Chris Richards and everybody on it. Or the next team that played. Which one of them you'd have bet against? Tell me who you'd have put your money on. And then you answer your own question. So I don't have to argue with you. The fox is right there. All right? Even Panamanian, even the players on Panama team putting the money on USA to win the game. So I, I, I don't have to argue with you right there. Sometimes the facts, I give Aunt Panama all their ratings, so you can't say I'm biased, but I have to know when to split it. All right? Yes. <laughs> Gmail says no comments because he will never put a dollar on Panama to play United States main team. And I think his dollar is saved. <laughs> All right, so people call in the show. Um, give me a take as to Jamaica versus um, Canada. All right, let me put it on the screen now so you know who we are going to be facing because I want to go in depth to the Canadian team because a man sent me a clip and I heard what a man said. I, 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 I want to 
educate the people as to what Canada is. I don't think Canada is a pushover. So we are going to try match up squads to give an accurate depiction of what we should expect from Canada. All right? Yes. Um, but you have to remember that matches aren't played on paper. No, we know Jay Smith. But um, yes. Yeah, but, but, but even with it on, on, on no paper, I am telling you, it might not end well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gmail says Canada will beat in stick. All right, you know, Mr. J, how you do, man? So based on TNT performance last night, it makes you wonder if they would have made it out of the the group um, if that had um, to play Panama. Yeah, but if you had watched all of the games, that's why you come here. You know, I told you that I think Costa Rica, you mean um, Curacao will beat um, Trinidad tonight. They are not going to come off lucky because all of their games they were pretty much lucky. And when it's not luck, it's actually some ridiculous cross the line calls. We have to look at the games as well. I've watched all the games, so um, I think we we give the, um, Trinidad credit for their fighting spirit, but um, the quality. Um, was not up to par as the other teams they were playing. So they kept getting away with results, not necessarily being the better team. You understand me? So Trinidad had Jesus and also um, Ang Angus as well. And, and they definitely had Eve as well. So they had every one of the individuals them to save them. And um, um, Kurasso dealt with them, you know? Yes. <laughs> JD, Canada have a better system than Jamaica. I don't think that is a question. You know? Call into the show, people, and ask your questions and all the reason. Yes, man, no problem. Talk about your country, Suriname. Uh, we're, we're not good. I, I think um, that is not a true, accurate um, statement as to Suriname not good. I think I've learned a lot about Suriname. And I think Suriname is closer to a lot of things than what you have said. But I won't talk on Suriname now because I don't want you guys to um, not comprehend my thing and then send me down a different road. Alright? Yes. Yeah, so let me move on. Um, let me move on to open up the discard so people can come in the discard. And please don't call at that time because now um, I am going to have problems. Alright? So people as what we said, the link to support the channel to donate to the channel is right there pin just click it and tick the channel so we can see some support on the channel because we are putting out the work all right so make sure we see the support there in the tip and i'm going to put the tip for every stream because what that does as what i've said as oh you would have put a super chat the super chat goes to me and youtube well the super chat goes to me and my business here so let me see you guys support that over there all right yes and it will come up on the screen just like the super chat as well all right so let me open the discard so i can hear from the others all right so jason is already in the discard i don't know how that possible <laughs> All right, Sham Six JD. I was um, at the game last night, and I tell telling Grenada and and Cuba are better team than Trinidad. All right, Sham Six. Uh, Sham Six. I go as far far to say that Trinidad is not better than those teams. But if um, they are not bad, better than those, they are not better than those teams. So what that means for the Concacaf region? Tennessee said Canada is going to be um, tough test, but these are the games Jamaica need to play even though we might suffer all right all right tennessee big up yourself all right yeah man uh one love massive respect all you're doing man hope all is well all right coach grimmie started research canada long time ago i i don't think so anyways let me pull up the canadian team that uh, that played the other day against the tiny japanese um that run run through them to be honest yes not not over them because they're so small they couldn't really run over them all right good afternoon um how are you doing carla i'm doing good how are you i am i am very much um juiced no i can't use juiced up because people would think i'm on steroids but i'm i'm in good spirit i got um good sleep and um uh, my day went well so i am very much energized so how are you doing I'm doing okay. I have one question for you. I'm not sure if you know, but do you know what the matchups will be for the losing teams from the quarterfinal round? Oh, Lord. So, you, so, you, so, you, so after me bringing in so much information for you, you start even not look at the games Jamaica will be playing. You start look at the losing. Oh, God. God. No fate for you, no, boss. I'm, <laughs> I'm just joking. No, I'm, I'm just joking. Just... <laughs> scenario who Jamaica will play because obviously want to avoid Panama or Costa Rica 
all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to try and pull that up i'm going to sort out that information for you um but i i, I do have it you know i do have it as well um yeah, i just yeah, never yeah, put yeah, it yeah. up on the screen so i'm going to look up for it and, oh, and put it back on the screen so you will know which one um plays which one but more likely they will still hold their ranking as a1 and a and 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 a2 you understand me Yes, so that's how they're right. gonna we are, they're going to have them just the same. But I, I I will put it up later in the discussion. But definitely that's a good one. So let me write it down here so I can go back to it. Um, um, losers, the losers, or the losers bracket goes. Yes, so I will put it up after and and let you get it. All right. So that's that's the only question. Um, how are you feeling about the Canadian game? But clearly you ask for something, but I I don't want to speculate. So what say you on the Canadian game? Oh, you think we're gonna fear off with them? Well, I think that it depends on who accepts the call for Jamaica because I you know in most of these windows, we have one or two of the top players that don't accept the call. So if everyone accepts the call, I think we have a good chance because it's a home and away, so it's not like a one-off game. So uh, I think we would have a good chance to advance if everyone accepts the call. So um, you don't yeah, think yeah, the home yeah, and away? Yeah, so people yeah, inside yeah, the chat, yeah, home and away... It makes it easier or it makes it worse. Because if, if you consider Canada the better team and you are giving them two shots to beat Jamaica, I, I honestly believe that it, I think it's worse. I think it makes it much more difficult for we to beat them. That's what I think still. But go ahead, Carla. No, I'm, I'm saying that I think if all of our players accept the call, I think I would favor Jamaica over Canada. Yeah, but I think in a one-off game, anything can happen. So it's not like a hard of our team could say, "Hey, our better teams are going to go through." But you know, if if Antonio, um, the Brentford defender, everybody accept the call, I think we'd have a good chance to go through. But the thing is, like, even if we don't go through and we avoid Panama and Costa Rica, and we get either that would be our TNT or or who's the other team? Honduras. Uh, you have Honduras. Uh, you have Honduras. Um, Jamaica. Pick. Jamaica. Pick. Obviously, you're not going to put Jamaica in it. But Honduras, Panama, um, TNT. So those are the three others. Yeah, so I'm saying if we avoid Costa Rica and Panama, I think I would favor us against the other two in, in the quarterfinal um, the match of the losers. So okay, so you're saying I, I think we still have a good chance. But but I have a feeling. Way. I have a feeling that Panama beating Costa Rica, you know, because they have beaten them um, the last two to three times, you know, consecutive, you know. Yes, so I have a feeling that Panama that, is a good team. So Panama no no what no I would Carla, what, pick... what I'm saying. I have a feeling that Panama Panama will be the only favorites going into the next round. I slightly believe maybe no. a, a a close favorite. But they are going to be the favorite over Costa Rica. I strongly believe so. Everybody else will be underdogs. So what I'm saying is, if Costa Rica comes in the bunch, I know you have Costa Rica, Trinidad, and Honduras. Would you not favor Jamaica over all of them then? No, I I think it will be a close match if we draw Costa Rica. Okay, okay. All right. So you're saying, okay, okay. Because yeah, I think Jamaica, I it, Mike can get it over. I don't, I'm, I don't think we're flat out better than Costa Rica. But I think I, we would have a better chance beating Costa Rica than Panama. I think Panama's system is yeah, no, just different. I'm, that's what I'm saying. But I would rather none of them. None, none of them? Of those two. <laughs> <laughs> no, neither Costa Rica or Panama. I think both of those teams would give us problems. And I think it's not a home away. I think it's just a one-off game for that. So anything can happen. Yes, the, the, the final one is a one-off. Yeah, yeah. And Europe. Yes, yes, yes. So you're, you're right, yeah, you're I'm right. Looking forward. But I'm definitely looking forward to the games in November. I think we have a good chance against Canada if all the players show up. All right, all right then. Respect then, respect. Um, the chat kind of agree with you, but I don't agree with the chat, you know, because um, for me, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't agree with them. I just leave them alone, you know. Yes. But I know, I know you, JD. You you try to give opposing views. Yes, most yes. Most of the times, and stick to the facts purpose. as well. No, 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 no. Don't don't say opposing views on purpose. <laughs> all right. Let, don't, before you come off of the phone, 
Um, this this team that plays Japan, um, you have um, Borian, um, Sinclair, Kaman Miller, Carnelius, um, Bambito, Steven Vittoria, Alonso, um, uh, 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 Alphonse Davis, Sam Adakobi, um, Alistair Johnson, Richie Laye, um, Luke Day. Samuel Petit, um, Ustakio, Ustakio, um, Ishmael Kone, Osario, um, Matthew, um, um, Peyton, Leah Miller, um, Islet, Jonathan Davis, Kyle Lauren, and Charles Andreas um, Brim. The midfield, uh, the midfield what that they have is far superior than Jamaica. The forward line, I think, is still better than Jamaica as well. I think on the defense line with Ethan Pinnock, and it's just based on what I've watched, Ethan Pinnock. Um, I'm more impressed, and I know a goalkeeper, so my goalkeeper and Ethan Pinnock and Mikel Antonio out of our team, I think I would put over anybody in the Canada team, and that is the biggest problem because oh, we are going to retain ball. Ustakio, Ustakio, I think Ustakio will be the best player um, in both games, no matter who we call, because I've not seen a player that we can call that is better than him. You understand me? So, what if, about that? What about that? Which one on the left wing? Which one on the left wing? Um, uh, Gray? Uh, I, 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 yes. No, um, Jonathan David is better than Gray. Yeah, man. Jonathan David is better than Gray, man. Um, so, it, it, I'm just saying those are the three players. Um, I, I know. I'm, I'm expect The reason why I said that, you know, um, when I'm talking, I'm talking in, in the context of our, our system as to their system. They are playing a three at the back. So, Mikel Antonio um, and, and also Ethan Pinnock will be the most effective with our goalkeeper. Um, I don't see the midfielder that I think will combat with their midfielders. Um, so, I, I'm shocked to say you guys saying that we are going to be the favourites. and Because I heard people saying, no time. Um, um, Jama no time Canada is better than Jamaica. Uh, I, I, I don't. I, after those games, I think we need to stop the foolishness. Uh, I know he has the opposing views, but that we have to stop the foolishness and give the team respect. No, I wasn't talking in the instance. I'm just talking generally when you talk. And I agree that Canada and Jamaica are re reasonably closely matched. It's not like one team is going to definitely beat one team. It, I think it's relatively close. You know, but our midfield is a problem as usual. Our midfield is probably one of the worst midfields of the top teams in CONCACAF. So All right. I think that is definitely going to be the problem. You see, people are some mad. Carla, you make people some mad, you know. I say, like the money must say Gray better than David, you know. I think Gray's record in CONCACAF is better than him. Jonathan David Gray record better than Jonathan David in CONCACAF? Okay. Yeah, look at okay. look, look at Gray, Gray, Gray not play enough game. Gray not play enough game as Jonathan David. No, I agree, but we only can go off what is there and right what is there right now his record is good uh great record is good and and you hear me loud gray yesterday but um sometimes me can just admit the fact i don't think gray is a better baller than jonathan david i would pick jonathan david as a as a striker or a wing forward almost every time over him uh, and the upside of the kid is 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 very good i think he's the next um, world-class player coming from the region and if a player is on the brink of a world-class player I think we have to be careful how we try to deal with him because we don't class Damar Gray in the realm of the world class players them. So I think we we are not looking at them um properly still. But I will take the time for you to research a player because I know um I've listened I've no, I, no uh, I know the I know the I know the player and I know he's a good player and I know he has a he has an upward track and Gray is more going down more than going up. Because he's you know he's coming out towards you know, late twenties, so it's gonna be flat going down, and it, that player is more going up. Yes, because he's younger. So he's younger as well. Concacaf. Yeah, them are itself. All right, fair, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, and I agree with you. His, his record is very good. Um, but I just said, um, comparison with the both players, them, I, I think I will go with him. I, this is not about who I like, um, um, from who I don't like. I just tell you that, um. Um, okay, people said I need to get real. Oh my God, Lord God. I just gave my take. The caller gave his take. So why would not fight me? Stop fighting me. And I'm not picking opposing views on purpose as what the caller said because that is not true. 
I think I am yeah. Jamaica is not the favourites in this game and wait pause on the cursing wait until the coach come out or are you not going to say the coach to tell lie you not say the coach to no, tell no, lie no, hear the excuse come out go ahead <laughs> no coach no coach is going to come out and say hey we are the favourites to win every coach is going to say I respect the team and all of this BS that they normally say so it's not like he's going to come out so you obviously know that he's not going to say he's, he has a better team no coach is going to do that. Canada coach is not going to do that either. No, but I'm... T I'm no, he's the coach... Is, no, Canada team coach is not going to come out and say Jamaica is the better team. They're not going to, but I can, promise you, the, I, can, I can promise you... I can promise you, our coach is going to come out and say Canada is the better team. How much you have... Come, yeah. may I bet today. May I bet today and the coach not come in. The coach is not firing, you know. May I bet today. And I can promise you the coach will come out and come say that caller. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's going to say Canada is a better team. He's going to just say we respect the Canadian team and we're going to do our best and we believe we can win the game. That's what he's going to say. All right. That's what the. Me, 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 I bet him, you know. Me, I bet him. Me, I bet him, you know. I, me, I bet him. Me, so confident that that's, that that's what he's going to say. Uh, me, I bet him. All right. I'm betting a caller. I'm betting him. Because, <laughs> by be, the way. Mm -hmm, yeah. By the way, JD, I don't know if you know who this is, but this is your arch nemesis, Lloyd Stewart. Lloyd Stewart, my arch nemesis? Why you say that I'm your, I'm your, you're my nemesis? Why you, up, you have opposing views to me? I have no problem to that. That not make you my arch nemesis. My arch nemesis is the one, let me tell you my arch nemesis them. You have some man, G Mills, you can see them as my arch nemesis. Them just come for war. Them not come for reason and no topic. Them just come for, call me big head and all sorts of madness. <laughs> so, uh, I think, yes, so, boy, I tell you. yes, but all I'm saying is, uh, I think you guys are disrespecting a lot of teams. And what you do is hype up the team. And then, when the team don't do what you guys expect, I know exactly what the team need to do. I can do, you know. So that makes me not bash the team, not bash the team. But you see, when the team don't do what uno excess, excess which is a, uh, expect, which is a false reality, then uno beat the team over the top. So me give them their accurate rating. So when it actually happen, me can say people. Look at it. Make we break it down properly now, and don't go over the top. But that, that's how we always go from zero to hundred, you know. Because all we talk about say, um, Canada to Jamaica, um, are fifty-fifty games and the madness there. Eh? You understand me? But JD, but JD, obviously I'm not in that camp because <laughs> I was the person who asked you what what the what team we will play if we lose. So I know, I know, I know. But looking at the chat, looking at the chat when they talk. You understand me? And at the, but me I try to show you that them set up the coach and beat the coach for no reason. If them properly evaluate the teams, they wouldn't come off like this. You understand me? And that's all I was trying to say, Big Boss. I mean, I worry them. I mean, I worry them at all. Well, well, like I like to deal with facts, data, and statistics. And if you look at the facts, Canada is a seeded team, so obviously, you know. It can't be a walkover game if an unseeded team is playing against a seeded team. Mm -hmm. The record basically showing that they are a higher ranked team than ours. So it can't be that we're going to just walk past them. It doesn't make sense if you look at the, the, the statistics. Okay. Okay. All right then, Bassi. Um, I'm going to let you go because uh, you're turning me chat in a war, war chat now. <laughs> I'm going to go to the panel so we can chop up what you say. But I'm going to save the number and you definitely call in. Uh, we have no problem. All right? Yeah, man. So call in when you're ready, right, Big Bass. Respect and, and thanks I'll again. Yeah? For the, the, the answer to the yeah, question. Yeah, man. I'm going to dig it up and put it on the screen and everything. All right? All right. Thanks yeah. a lot. All right. Big up. Big up. All right, so um, Rico, massive respect for the super chat says David is on Bailey's level. Um, Gray has been playing on the top level for almost a decade. Who has Jonathan David play for? David, kiss my teeth. All right, you know what? I'm not going to argue with you. Brando says, um, um, Brando, you know, this a, <laughs> you know this a war for no reasons. You know? uh, ESPN says that, that not, no JD. All right, Jesus, Mirak, we don't need um, to win with um, the away goal rule. We can actually have a chance. All right, no problem. All right, so I don't know if the discard working. Jason, um, are you hearing me? Um, Jason, go ahead. 
Yeah, but I'm getting here yeah, too. Yeah, Alright, so yeah, Jason, come yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for some reason, can, 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 can the fans fans hear me? Me? it's not clicking. So I'm just going to. One second, Jason, let me change it so it can come can up right here. Out. Because I know you're coming through the Discord. Uh, you're hearing an echo. Okay, sorry. Let me remove this. Yes, I I know I know. Don't 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 worry. I'm gonna remove it. My my fault. My fault. Let me let me remove it right there. People, don't worry yourself. I'm just fixing it to make sure the sound comes through. All right. Yes. So just one second. One second. Let me just fix the sound right here. Uh, okay. Output. Uh, output. Input. Uh, device. All right. Let me take the Neil call. Input device. Uh, all right, cable. Um, Neil, how are you doing? Lord God. Oh, I'm glad you did. I am here, you know. I take a beating. <laughs> anybody, anybody, when I get a Jamaica favorite, you want to man pop up a I eat a stone. I see about five of them and I'm there. Dear, sometimes I want them people even watch football and I don't just know what. All Jamaica people are going to be favorite. Jamaica have a better football in uh, uh, Canada. <laughs> yeah. Neil, the man is so. Yeah, them pass, not just believe, you know, them are dis me, you know. Pantapite, you know, because your man yeah, say, yeah. Gmail say, you watch ball, you just talk. <laughs> Brother, I'll give me let him watch ball. <laughs> yeah. I'll give me. Gmail, if you watch ball, because I don't know what Gmail I say, because I don't know which ball G if you look like it's not that bad on people on the TV. You understand? I Gmail feed two people with another watch TV, because I don't know what Gmail I say, because JD, I, I bet, all right, right now, I would take Canada over the United States and Mexico. You understand? Yes, that because is true. That is facts, yeah. We have a, we have a better shot at beating Canada more than any Mexico. United which I agree United, on that. If, if United, yes, United, I agree on that, you know, United, with relatively United, easy. No time. No time. We have a winner, no, but we have a better shot. Yes, yeah, and I agree to that, and that's where I've stopped and ready to do my analysis. That's where I stopped, you know. I never tried to put down Jamaica or nothing. I just said, um, we are not the favorites in this game. That's all I've said, you know. And then the man just take away the chat and start down me. <laughs> You look like man, them jump off and them bed this man when they wake up. Because I mean, you know what they must say. Yeah, you understand? Oh, Jamaica, you can't be your favorite. Favorite, favorite in your head. You see me, I say? But, and, but in a reality, Jamaica can't be no favorite. Yeah, you understand? If it was Costa Rica, even for Costa Rica, Jamaica still not a favorite. The game would have even. You understand? Yeah, but I believe yeah. Jamaica can't beat Costa Rica. I agree yeah. as well. You understand? But Jamaica still wouldn't be the favorite. Costa Rica is a higher rank team, so how are you going to be favorite over higher rank? Well, right now, I think Panama is much better than Costa Rica. And I think Panama will beat them. You understand? Yeah. But if, even if Panama beat them and we lose, we still not going to face Costa Rica. We're going to face either Andrew, because we know we're going to lose. Andrew and Anthony, that. We're going to face <laughs> Andrew. And Costa Rica is so, going so, to face So, look how he... Listen to this, listen to this. I, I'm Jason and Africans, I'm coming, don't worry yourself. Um, listen to this. People, let me know in the comment section, USA are, uh, uh, versus Trinidad, who winning that game? And Mexico versus Honduras, who winning that game? May I go show you USA how... Hold on, may I go show you how biased them is, you know? Um, who winning those two games, people? G Mills, who winning those games? Jami um, USA versus Trinidad. Who winning those, that game? And uh, Mexico, so USA and Mexico. The last time, the last time Honduras played Jamaica, it never looked like Jamaica was a better team on the field. So why is it we can? Why is it we, we can always go with them team? You got us lose flat out, and then we have to go and say Jamaica better than Canada, and Jamaica go win the game. You understand me? Why, I mean, no. Me no know. Oh, so oh, we can just flat out say that. And one time we, we just we just played Honduras, and we couldn't come out definitive and say that we are better than Honduras because that would have been a lie statement. You understand me? On the day, it took them after that miss them clear empty chance. For we end up get a result on the day, 
and then we I said them now have no chance against Mexico. <laughs> but all of a sudden now we just become so oh oh, oh educate me Neil. How bad Canada is? Canada is a good team daily and right now nobody can tell me nothing. We are running a favorite for, 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 for with nothing. I feel better than Canada and not the US and Mexico because I wouldn't have no chance against them, them two teams. You see me I say? So we know Canada is a good team, you understand? And they're my favorite. But with if Jamaica get everything thing together, I mean I think it's gonna be in a blood, mm -hmm. in a in a one team. I think it's gonna be a close tie. I think All maybe right. that's gonna be close I think maybe that that's gonna be close this tie. You mm. understand? Yeah. Yeah. And with Costa Rica and, and Panama, I think they're too tight. But me, me still think Panama will be edge over Costa Rica. Man. And Canada will be edge over Jamaica. But I think it's not going to be a blowout. Whichever win, I think of Canada still. But Jamaica will <sighs> Jamaica, me, listen, listen, to, listen to this, Mark Davis. Please, I want me to talk. Listen, hear Mark Davis. If you claim you go by stats, then Jamaica is by far the better team. The, the, then Jamaica is by far the better team. The way you are talking okay. as if Canada is a world beater. Jason, Africans, Tennessee, me talk like Canada world beater. Yes, yes, me just yes, know yes, Jamaica yes, is yes. not a world beater. And they, are, they never act like they are world beaters. They said they are working on things. And we know. Is, I, am just a uh, I, am just a, I am just a support of Jamaica. Because I'm a Jamaican. And I am an analyst yeah. as well. So I have to just be accurate as to why I talk, ma Mark. Because if I send you down the wrong path, you are the same when I come here. If Canada give you six in total, six two. You are going to come here and say, brother, you never know what you are talking about. But now at least I put something out there for you to understand that maybe they were the better team. So if you see we get four or five nil or five one in a two legs, you could say, all right, then JD one somebody that talks sense. JD did right. At least Mark. So click me. Click me now. You will not see Jamaica dominate no Canada. Because Canada is not no eighty. Not no um, 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 Honduras are not no Grenada, and we struggle against all of those teams. So, I don't know if you were watching the game them just a while ago. Go ahead, Neil. Go ahead. So, we can go to the panel after. Yeah. 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 Jamaica is not, 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 not favorite. Canada is a better team. Better team, they might play better everything. Only thing me say, Jamaica have a better chance against Canada. Me say. But Canada better Uh, yeah, Neil, you Neil, internet, internet I got Neil. The internet went out just a while ago, Neil. Yeah, friend. I wonder if you, I wonder if you hear me now. Yeah, man, me I hear, me I hear, me I hear. Yeah, yeah. They might talk about Canada, maybe back in 2012, 2009, then kind of Canada, they might talk about. It's a different Canada, Neil. Canada, better than Jamaica, and down. You understand? We can't dispute that. And the, and the result, the fish for sure is Canada better than Jamaica at this moment. The brother said what he said the last time we played him a Japan it was two two. Me never watched that match there. I don't know where he watched that. Uh, we, we watch we play Japan's um team when it exists. Them just pick up some tiny human being and put them on the field. And we did lose the game mm -hmm. as well. So me don't know which team. We look we win which game. Uh, we draw which game. Uh, which game you made watch? When, when that uh, when the two two they play JD, uh, um, that I must see before we start watching football. <laughs> But we can win the game out of all the three teams. That's what we are trying to sell. So people, just please respect Neil. When you're ready, come in at the discard, yeah? Yeah, man, big up Yeah, yeah. 
All right, so let me read out the super chat them and then we take the rest of the comments them because my goodness, I don't know why I have not said anything but I've not put down Jamaica. I just said I think they are the slight better team um, as to what we are we have seen from Jamaica. But I still believe I I never even gone to the part that I think that we can win the game. Um, but I love that pe people, even though we have a lot of war boats in the chat, some person still said, JD, what can we do to win the game? And that's what I wanted to go through, you know. Yes, um, Brando says. What do you think is needed um, to beat Canada? Who needs to be added? That's what we want. These are the questions we want because that's what the, the coach will be thinking about. All right. Let me take the next super chat. Um, um, let me... We, uh, Rico, massive respect said. In the last 13 years, we have lost three... We, we have lost... We have we, we have three wins, one draw, and three losses versus Canada. I admit they have a better team this time around, but we have the better players. We just need to play as a unit. All right, all right. Even that I could have understand. Uh, <laughs> even that I could have understand if you said that. I don't believe it, you know. Uh, we have good players, but I don't think we have the better players. You understand me? Yes. But I can understand it. You're coming from a, a more mutual. But the man in where I say them, them people are no good. Um, Gmail say JD never right. I don't know which record you check. <laughs> because check from the four years, me coming in a space here. Yeah. And just check my records them. Alright? Yeah, man. Alright. Just go and check that. It does go and check that. Yeah? Yeah, man. Um, Jay Shah said we can beat Canada in... Ca have a bad day but i won't depend on jamaica to play better to beat them all right fear enough fear enough jando said J brando said jd uh you know yeah i saw the super chat and i'm going to take it on but i want to bring in the panelists as well africans the canadian representative is here i want to hear from him as well uh but maybe he, he catch ptsd because he heard that canada no good <laughs> ishmael said for the last year or so canada has not been um that good jamaica can beat them all right all right so that's what ishmael says mr united said jd i know every mad man you see you, a mad man you see you talk to canada is better and have better players <laughs> all right africans come on and jason go ahead go ahead jason let me know if you guys are getting the echoing from from jason all right so we can move on all right yeah man and people get to the yeah. 200 likes and the show come on man the one thing you know we bring the facts and we chop it up here all right yeah man we do this war for no reason we have we have leg, legitimate claims to what we are saying because we are trying to give you a sense something that you're just trying to not accept all right go ahead jason <laughs> yeah jd um you know you know with, with our fans man it's jamaica gonna get the extra points because it's our team you know but people should be able to look at it objectively you know but some of them are going to go that but um it was just funny to me that when the caller the first caller called in he didn't ask you anything about Canada. He didn't ask you anything about this. Match. The man just goes straight to who we are going to play next. If, you know, so people, it's okay to, to have a mindset like the caller and, and try to see all the variables and see how it will work out. I, I am of the mindset that Jamaica can do something in this two leg match with Canada. Um, I agree with the caller in that it's going to be imperative that we get the whole team together for the games. Um, because I think, you know, I, I just don't want to have to go into a scenario where it's a one playing game. Um, if if I could, JD, um, I haven't seen any writing on it, but mm -hmm. just based but just based on how them would I usually do like a semi finals. Um, you know, we would probably match up with the loser of Trinidad and USA because that would be like the the no wait who is the third place finish? Not Trinidad. Out of all the two groups. Um, the, Trinidad, yeah, Trinidad is the third place, the third place finisher. Right. So, so I would, I would, I would be of the mindset that the one verse four matchup and the two verse three matchup would a link up. So yeah. I believe that we we could be facing Trinidad, so we can look at that down the road. If maybe Concacaf come out with something more definitive. Yeah, man, maybe 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 get, get it, maybe get it, Jason. You know, for yourself, we don't have a stress out with yourself. I I will get it. No worry. One more, one more realize is is a benefit when we talk, we talk of, about these things because you see they come and clear it up about 40 minutes after the show mm -hmm. so 
um, when people when people hear us talking and think it's a waste of time and we just they have to bad mouth Jamaica or whatever the narratives are, but we must understand that like the reason why we make sure to include everywhere is because we are we're in a competition and playing against other people and you cannot be analyzing football and only looking at one team because they're not playing against themselves. So just understand that the reason why we give so much time to everything is because it all matters. And I think it's, it will help people to understand why we can give teams their credit, even if they're not winning games or whatever, because football is about way more than the score. And we can still learn something from football games that we don't do well in. And I think, and I think that's, it's, it's that's what we need to remember. To understand why we can give... Yeah, Mr. Try to turn it up to make sure people can hear it. But everyone knows actually hearing it. The echo gone, so that's good. Yeah, 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 man. I fix me, I fix it. So, so um, I heard um, Cox says um, every team better than Jamaica for JD. But I respect your opinion. But reggae boys, no, I, please, God, please, God, I have not said every team better than Jamaica. The problem is every time I saw a team and I put it together, I'm saying, damn, I'm seeing Jamaica playing, and I'm not impressed as to the next team. And the bigger teams, them, um, I have to just say the truth. Um, I am going to still try to find a way how we can win it, you know. And then when the coach plays, you can match up to what I have said. And if we get the result, and if we don't get the result, then you come back to what I've said and see if it could have worked out. But just stop, jump to eight, no man. I have not chosen this side um, by mistake, all right? Yes. Uh, we need um, better, better communication between keeper and defender. All right, Ishmael says we need better communication between keeper and the defender. So that, what that would say then, Ishmael, based on what you are saying, um, J I'm it. you always want Jamaica, a perfect Jamaica team. Why? I am not looking for perfection. I know that it's going to take a little while for us to get perfection. But I'm just looking for a, a pattern of play. And yes, I've seen a pattern of play. But this pattern of play that I've seen, I am not impressed with it. What, would that be okay for you, Travis? The pattern of play that we are playing in, it makes it, it, it draw down. It, we as... Um, uh, we as a big a bigger set of players make the games too more too much way more competitive than it should have been with a better system so that's why i would want a better system not necessarily um perfection you understand me with this system i think we will play even grenada and it will always look like this Um, you get me? And that is what I... Because all the big teams and what they do have... When you see Panama... Look, Panama is by far the best team out of all the lot. We, Panama, um, and all of the other teams, and Suriname, AD, Panama is the best team based on results, right? Based on results. Right, Jason? Based on re recent results, yeah. Panama would class the best out of them. When Ma Panama, Panama match up against United States, Mexico, Canada, you realize that their system makes them have the edge, even though they have the better, t better team, the better players on the field. It's their system that gives them the edge over the top. I think if Jamaica plays Panama, they, they end up being the, the, the better team than Jamaica, even though they have the better players on the field, because their system is not better than Panama's system. And that's why when we drop down to a Grenada assist game, Grenada comes with a system and a few good players and a, bag, a bunch of average players, and then we just make the team look the game look completely bum rush because we can't retain position, we can't press properly, we have no midfield, we have no winger, we have no fullback, and we have 11 players on the field like them. And then we just go, come down to Indy, Villa and Brilliance to score a few goals and win the game. And then we come out as Jamaican people and say, Oh, yo, we win the game, so stop talk. No. That's why we now go hard. We, we, we now go always to Jamaica, our favorites in these big games. Because we're not seeing any progression. We're just seeing over-the-top bullying. So we just win some matches by um, individual brilliance, but not, no, not necessary pattern of play. You understand me? So that's why it's not perfection. I just want to see a, a, a system that I do respect and think that this can bring me forward for the next four years. All right. Um, all right. Listen to what I'm going to say now. All of the, man, all of the guys are worried me now. 
Are you okay? Are you okay to see Jamaica playing so for the next four years then? All of the man them will disagree with me. Are you okay for see Jamaica play so for the next four years? Exactly so. And we get the additional pieces, them, the Macy Greenwood, everybody else, Jesus, everybody else. Does are you okay with we playing so for the next four years? And listen to you saying no, but war with me, um, with what I'm saying. Everyone in gonna say no in a Jason. So do you, you know, have a problem, brother? You have a problem, and in the system, you have a problem because you just talk about the comparison with the Jamaican players them and the Canadian players them, and you say them be on equal footing. So what make we now going on the game as fi, 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 uh, as favorites then? If we have the better players them then, Jerry, you lose yourself in a chat from you make the great chat okay okay um gmails <laughs> individual brilliance is needed um but it al it alone cannot surface surface all right uh you see so everybody has said no them are happy with how we are play so then if canada know how them are play and them are play the same damn way and we like how them play and they have equal players at least who don't give them you know when they say we have equal players as them so then oh by your same metric oh you make we the favorites you are literally telling us that we are not the favorites you are saying the same thing as me you know but the end result comes down to um, patriotism the inter interpretation of what they class patriotism as jason and that me realize, you know, them now say different from me, you know. Them does what me say, Jamaica go win, even when me add up everything, I say the next team are the favorites. That's how they want from me, but I rest my case. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, man. It, one thing I know, it's going to be a big game, a big match, and now we are going to learn about the coach in that game. So let me stop, avoid the truth, and go towards it, all right? What would you like the coach to do? Who you think we need to bring in, if any? You want to see a 4-2-4 when we have um, Leon Bailey, Mikel Antonio, Shamar Nicholson, Damar Gray, and then we put Daniel Johnson and Anderson in the midfield. Then at the back, we have um, Lembe Kisa, um, um, Damian Lowe, Ethan Pinnock, and Amari Bell or Greg Lee with um, Andre Blake. 4-2-4 system. Um, what say you? Let me know. Uh, what say you? Oh, you think it would have ended? I think we can we can smash them because pretty much at that where do you know? At that we've been playing, you know. So so, so let me let me, me see on the field or how we need to approach it. Call in, give me a take. Jason, go ahead, go ahead, big boss. Well, if um, I don't think they're gonna get rid of the coach before the next game. So what they just described is probably close to what we would see. Um obviously Bobby Reed would, would argue that he should be somewhere in that 11, but I think it's going to look something similar to that. I think the, the only thing that gives me hope against Canada, to be totally honest, is um, I think sometimes in their system with the back three, they force their defenders to defend in like big space. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like I kind of like the matchups of like Antonio, Shamar, Gray, peeling out into those spaces and going against like a bigger... You know, because I don't think their back line, especially the back three, is that fleet of foot. I think if you if you put them in space by themselves, you can get at them. Mm -hmm. So I think that we have the we have the ability in the system or non system as you say, <laughs> or not so functional system. We have the ability to play those long diagonals to Antonio and I, I like his odds against their defenders in space. So I think that we'll be able to create chances even with um you know the, the type of football that the coach has been playing and the team has been playing okay where's africans i thought that africans would have joined all right jamaican guna says um he does not believe that they are the better te team okay jamaican guna i have no I, i'm not going to war with you on that all right people this is the link to donate to the channel as what we said let me share the discard link now so people can come in the discard it looks like i've not never shared the discard link um to be honest yeah it, it, don't, it don't look that way. All right. All right. Um, Canada, um, drop out at the, the Gold Cup um, before we. Um, Gmails. Gmails, I don't think you actually did look at You never watched the Gold Cup, Gmails. You understand me? You never watched the Gold Cup. So, for you say you cannot drop out of the Gold Cup before we. Um, I don't think you watched the Gold Cup. So, you can just leave it alone, Gmails. All right? Yeah, man. This is not a, not a place where sell sensationalism, you know? 
yeah <laughs> Yeah, but um, I love the, I love your, I love your attitude and your, 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 your energy, you know. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, so me drop the link for the discard, um, so people can come in and say their piece. All right, yeah, man. Um, I do agree with you, Jason, as to we can get something from the game, and I think out of all the, the players, them, uh, the teams, them, I think Canada is the best opponent for we to get something out of the game. Um, from you understand me? But we can clearly look at Mexico and we saw that even if we are our best players with the system that Mexico play now, we are going to forever have problems. And I think Mexico is the team is, is the hardest team for us to play in the region. I know people hyping up the United States and they are very good. But I think Mexico will always be the more the more challenging because what we realize with our team, even though we are winning the games them, we tend to anytime any team press us. It's, it, it does not turn out good for us. We lose the ball in dangerous areas. And those teams that we are having problems with, it is it's Honduras, Grenada, um, Haiti. Um, Mexico is elite at pressing and elite at closing the space. So your passes have to be precise. And I don't see the precise passing coming from us. So I do believe, I say all of that to say that I think Canada... Um, with their style of play, still favor Jamaica out of the three. And remember, those three were, were predetermined. So they were there before. So the conversation is, um, have we gotten the best draw? Um, yes, Costa Rica could have been a little bit better, but still, this is still one of the best outcomes for Jamaica because I do think we have a, per, a, a chance um, to win it. But the chance is not as over the top as what um, we, um, most of the chat making it. To say that we are the favorites going in or it's 50 50 no i think it's more like um a 65 35 game uh, that's what i think you know i think over the two legs if it was one game i would give it 50 for 60 40 60 40 um sham 60 honduras mexico is a 50 50 game sham six I, I don't think so sham six i think um um mexico if Mexico will 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 really deliver against um, Honduras, I think um, Mexico will. Uh, will uh, they are going to beat the bricks of, of Honduras. They have a point to prove. They are they are coming back for United States. You get me? A USA beating Trin no man. I think Mexico beating uh, and Mexico versus Honduras is a thirty seventy game or a twenty eighty game. I think we are disrespecting Mexico. Mexico getting stronger day by day. They are very good. I'm very sorry, people. And they have a few pieces coming back in. Um, and, they are, and they are in transitional period. And they are still doing good. So I think um, Honduras will lose against Mexico. They will. All right? They will. And it will be a heavy over three goals. Over three goals. And they are going to dominate position. And you're, go you're going to have to give them respect. Because you know that Honduras is a good positional base. Um, tiki Taka style team as well. So they can play out of the press. And I think they are going to dominate Honduras. They are going to dominate them. Alright. Yeah man. Over three goals. I'm saying it from now. So when it comes next month. You're going to see. Over three goals in the first leg. It's done from the first leg. Yes. I don't know if Jason agree with me. But uh, that's what I am saying. You know. They are going to dominate them. No, I think I think um yeah, cause Honduras have the home game first. Or Mexico yes, have the home game first? I think Honduras have the home game first, and that's why I'm putting it um at three. That's why I'm <laughs> I'm putting it at three. I'm telling you, they are gonna beat them there. They they have they are proving a point in a man because like how we are talking, they are coming to prove that they are the best in Kankakuf. And based on how they are playing and Beralta take the helm for United States, I actually think they are the best in Kankakuf now. Yeah, Without think, facing think, um, big, both big teams, like both A team faces each other, I think Mexico has the edge now. I think so. But I have to wait until they do face each other. And I think they are going to face each other in the end as well. So we will learn soon. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think in that first leg, like, Honduras find a way to keep it closer. I think you like a one goal margin. But Mexico will win, but I think it's like a one goal margin. All right, no, all right. Game in Mexico had more say the three, four, you know. All right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. But I just believe that they are gonna beat them over there as well. All right, that is my take. So um, yeah, man. let we go into uh, let we go into because we had two hours to do, you know, people. You saw USA A team, yes. All right, we saw the team. We saw the team, and they, 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 it's a good result against Ghana. Good result. 
uh, very very good result Africans seems like that's the reason why he took away himself you know because <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm stressed out. <laughs> um, Africans Africans, can't... Africans gonna remind Africans gonna remind everybody that they they had their fifth and sixth child centre back, you know. So it it wasn't the real team. He's gonna take. He's gonna take. He's gonna take set on Jamaica now. And Jamaica, he's he's looking back to get some ratings from. <laughs> yeah, man. Him, 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 um, easier, easier earth man because Jamaica, Canada is out. So you know. Yes. Have to come to <laughs> him feel himself. Um, dirty, dirty M says that's why. Um, they should have kept Palal as the assistant coach and we would have um, a better system. But the coach would have still believed that his system that he's implementing is the best. I have seen no assistant coach come in and then he gets to implement the system. I, I no. I think if they, they wanted to keep, keep Palal, they should have just kept Palal. Yes, I would say I saw a better system under Palal. But some people call him Paul lose all. You understand me? <laughs> so I guess they want result instant. So they just want to get result and then they care about nothing. Uh, and then when, when uh, um, they reach at the, the tough parts of Jason, they just get better. You understand me? They, they may realize how important a system is, you know, um, to a team, you know. To, to give you the more consistent results. So if you're not getting a result instant in Jamaica, you're no good. You should just not be involved. <laughs> yeah, because them did beat Paul all for the results. But now that we are seeing this brand of football, a lot of people say they prefer Paul all style. So they, that should teach them something. And sometimes they, they have to enjoy the process just as much as the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. All right, so guys, we're gonna just pull up Canada um list and then we'll pull up Jamaica list and see where we could. We, we think we we're gonna be needing some strength. So what what we're gonna do? We're gonna discuss uh, midfield, um, defense line and um forward line. Jamaican Guna is here, so we're gonna make, gonna make Jamaican Guna speak. Guys, we have two hundred sixty people here, and the fa we have not reached two hundred likes. It tells you. All right, what am I seeing? Eighty had likes on the video. Let me let me just check again because my eyeball can't work right. All right. 150, uh, 150, okay, 150. No, people do better than that. 250 before the show finishes. We still have um 50 minutes to go. All right, yeah, man, and subscribe to the channel, man, and make we see say you appreciate the thing. We need um 10 more subscribers for that. This one, we need 8,450 in this series. So subscribe if you like what we do, and if you actually just listen to us and not just look, watch the chat, because majority of the time the chat is fighting against things that we have not said because for the entire stream aside from damar gray take i have not said anything oh all, all, all that possible or, or can you guys make it reach 50 so far so te five people subscribe already wow that is amazing uh <laughs> jd when i agree with you you don't i like it but when i disagree with you oh my god jesus lord all right i'm jamaica gonna go ahead go ahead because the fight in this chat i don't know how these guys get up early in the morning and have so much energy <laughs> i thought this was the time i would have gotten them more composed you know <laughs> morning people and i'm fully active <laughs> um blessed morning blessed night blessed evening big up jd and big up jason my fellow owner um big up all of the family in each chat big up on the south street anyway at all across the globe that you guys are communicating from well i just wanted to give my three cents in relation to this canada team and how it matches up against jamaica um in reality i don't think canada is a superior team to jamaica in terms of players but in terms of a system and uh, uh, you know slash a style of play um discipline um they're miles ahead um we're nowhere near them in that regard and it goes right across the board from man football to female football to straight just right across the board yes they're better than us they have developed they were miles behind jamaica let's say 10 years ago miles and they have surpassed us um and comprehensively so too and and we have to do that but in terms of the we have to admit that but in terms of the players versus players, I think we're on par. I think we're we have the same. We just don't. I don't think we have gotten a coach that has come in and basically utilized, or been allowed to utilize. Depends on how you look at it. 
um, the best that Jamaica has to offer in terms of our recruitment, in terms of players that will qualify for us and convincing them to come and play for Jamaica, telling them that it's a great project. I don't think we have done a great job with that because there are, there are elements within the governing body that is preventing that that is preventing that from happening and actively. And this is not something that is just something that is hyperbolic. It's something that is real. We know, say, people within the system do not want certain the best that Jamaica has out there in the world to come and play for Jamaica. They are trying everything in their power to prevent that from happening and trying to promote people from that they that they directly benefit from. And this is no this is nothing just it is no just something that does empty. So people know this. Pan the ground. Um so I don't think Jamaica's had a problem with even and if we even had that 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 um that negativity, that big old wall in front of them. I think we have done well in, ter in terms of getting in some players, especially for this cycle. Um, but if this coach is the coach to take us to the next level, I do not know. I, I haven't been. Con I haven't. I am not convinced, and I'm not. Um, I am not looking at it on a negative perspective. I am. I'm literally neutral at this point. I, I, I am not a great supporter of what he has done. But I am not against him either. I'm just neutral right now at this point in time because he has done okay, especially in, in the World Cup. And I see him trying to, you know, get us to play a specific way. But um, overall, I don't think Canada is superior to Jamaica like no, like no Brazil. The man on the Brazil side, they are just a side that is disciplined and they have a coach that understands how to utilize the tools in their um, toolbox. And I don't think we have a coach, even though I don't think we have a coach can utilize the tools and properly. We're still depending heavily on individual brilliance from our players. Um, it, you know, you're not see Jamaica pick up a ball and and make um, 30 passes and then kick in at the goal at the end of the play. You're not going to see that happen anytime soon. But we will pick up a ball from the defensive area, woof it forward, and we'll have somebody pacey picking it up or somebody strong picking it up and making their way to goal and we can get some goals from that. So, you know, we against a Canada side, as I said, I think maybe they have like three to four elite level players. I think, yeah, if four elite level, level players, and I think we do too. So I don't think player for player, they are like superior to us. I think just discipline wise, they are way better than us. And I think they have... Um, they have had coaches and they have a coach now that understands how they, they would like to play and they have a system of play that if if one player comes out and another player comes in, they, they, the difference is, is 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 minimal. So I think that's what they have over us. So I think at this moment in time with this Jamaica side, I think we are going to get better in, in our honesty. And I think two months from now, three months from now, um, we'll be talking about Jamaica in a different light because I think that time the coach will have no excuses about players bedding in and getting into his system. I think everybody would have gotten that by now. Um, so by, let's say, when 2024 roll in, we're supposed to be seeing a Jamaica side looking a little better and the players them more familiar with each other and how each other plays. And we're supposed to see a system beginning to, to, um, to, 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 to become clear to all of us as fans. All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um, um, Boston, I said, JD, should we expect a different playing style um, when our U20 plays? Well, that's where that's a good question because um, at a lower level, you can implement something um, faster because the, 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 the maybe the expectation because remember you know the coach always said that they have to try to bring back some money in the federation so maybe that's the reason why i'm just putting this out there so maybe that's the reason why they are they have to try implement a system but still catch on one side to try to make sure they win the game and then try to get a percentage out of that system in the game each game each game each game until it reached on a level that it could clear to see the system maybe that's something he's doing you know but um, I heard him talk, and I, it does not see. It seems like this is all the way it's going to go. You know, this is the way it's going to go. The more, the more he talks, he started off giving us hope as to oh, he's going to see what Jamaica has and then utilize it to its best um, ability. Um, I don't think that's the case right now because we have um, attacking midfielders that does not play attacking midfield, so that is not utilizing people to their best um, abilities. You understand? We have strikers. Um, 
that are playing majority of strikers we, 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 are, we have them on the field playing double up wing forwards as well too so i don't think so um isolated full box um that can in independently defend i don't think so either as well and our midfield two that splits the line every single time i don't think not like every single territory a third of the field the the, the team is doing the opposite as to the strengths of the players and that's the exact way why he starts um, whisper in a right midfield role when he proven that he can't play right right midfield role none of the times so based on what i'm seeing i i don't know what's going on and i'm just hoping to see something that i can say all right then this is where i know this man play this is what this man says out of his mouth that he plays and then we see him put him in that role and we get the best out of the players then but we are not even seeing that so it's hard for uh I, I i it's hard for me to see people feeling so confident in this thing that's all i'm saying still but hopefully we do see something against these bigger teams and not just a win a one nil win and uh, we don't see nothing else you understand me at least we see a style of play one second guys let me take this call let me take this call that's all i want to see just a style of play um if we forget a one nil win or a, or, or, or a draw in the first that's a style of play i want to see something because i'm not gonna go two years and me not see nothing and, and you just tell me say yeah man where does qualify because qualifying and then we get the money and then we still not implement a style of play how far it's going to push us you know we have to look at those things we're just going to get the money and then we still can't play football which we want to play football because we're getting the quality players and then we can sell more players with a better education overseas so they can stay overseas longer. So this is not just a one game. This is to build Jamaica football as well and to get more kids out there and to stop crime and violence as well. Because everything I do talk on always lead up back to make the country better more than anything else so i'm not not just looking at one game people i'm always looking at things deeper um dub dub how you doing there hey me not, let me have something to ask you how what kind of style of play the girl and use to make it to the next one of the world Cup? um defending defending and, and, and pray to god and and that was the best best possible way right yes that, that was the best possible way based on the team that we had yes defending defending right. and pray to god so if we are player USA or we are player um, Argentina, we can go, go, go play them team. They say we have a roll ball for them. We have to play the most effective way to win the game, right? Yes, yes. All right, yeah. Right. But, but this style, style thing where we are talking about, brother, it, um, it, it's, it's overrated, man. No, you can't say, it, oh, you can't say it overrated. Oh, no, hold, hold on. The, the, before you move, you, right. you just put out two points. Um, what the is the what, what, reach at the goal no but, the but, but before you pass them two no, boss, boss it, before you pass them two points eh? listen to this now so you just said um the reason why we play like that is because we don't have the players to do the job you don't think you have the players to play better like what you see uh, against um grenada to control ball you no, no. may I ask you a question you don't think we have the players them if you say no then i will just move on you don't think we have the players them to possess the ball Be uh -huh don't have the player to possess the ball and and the next thing when man has talk about individual goal right it is crazy and madness and and jamaican going to know better mm -hmm. the man them the, the power them pick up the ball in the 18 and dribble from them one 18 and, and score it right mm -hmm. the man them like look on the part where where where, where jd where 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 this and bernard pass and this and bernard pass which one are you talking about Daniel Johnson, the pass Daniel the Johnson ball. passed the ball from where? Where he passed the ball? Now in a feet, and I think it was a free kick, I think. Yes, the free kick from Inafi in Mars, loop it over the top, and then Liam Bailey latch on to it. Yeah, but nothing wrong with that. When there's not an individual goal, dribble along the wall of the field and score. The man so, who play as a team, uh, and them are... And, dub, 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 dub. I don't think the individual goals are, are, are a bad thing. I think it's individual goals. You know why? The man who scored the most goals is Damari Gray. Which one of Damari Gray right. goals are tapping? And not, not pure individual goal him score dub, dub. so at that people talk pan when him say that's individual and everyone I'm goal him when him score it I when Jamaica need the goal him because without him scoring that goal at that time it wouldn't go away so me, me can't see it. me think that individual talk there if it hurt the feeling me think it accurate because when him score 
Me not, me not no feelings. Me just say things are different. Yeah. No, no, don't, don't tell people say no feelings, but see. <laughs> no, them football thing. I mean, I no feelings with them. Me just, you know what I mean? That feelings up there and and them. As well, me say, I jump me a car my side. You know, no individual yeah. man on my side. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, but I understand. Mm -hmm. but, but, but Big Boss, may I tell you, um, there's man, massive respect and thanks very much for coming in, man. Everybody that comes in, we just have a conversation. We bring the facts and then we talk and the, the con we, we have the conversation after. So don't believe that we are picking a side. I, am, I want Jamaica to win just as oh, um, you want them to win. Maybe even more because I tell you what is on the side. But I just don't want Eddie, them to win. You finish your point. Let me tell you what I think, right? You say true, all right. Just when a man know football like you, you probably mark Jamaica higher. But you see, uh, the average fan will just want to say Jamaica win. We know you're not the one back at this and that and how much pass this and how much pass that. We only want what the goal has score and we are win. <laughs> all right. Thanks for the honesty. I'm the realest scholar this from the world here. I'm the realest scholar this from the world here. I'm the realest scholar this from the Wow! Wow! Score nine, we score ten. Oh my God! So, so Jesus, you know, say, and that's why the coach now not gonna win, you know, because the coach I stress out because I say you say I just score some goal and we just win the game. But but I true you talk, you I saw everybody think you. So listen me, right? Alright, look at him, cause numbers don't lie. Don't I'm um, Paul I'll go they go play pretty and box it in a stadium and lose. But they so go box it in a in a Canada and get Yeah, but up. but remember say he may get to the point there of him start stifle teams. So that is where his system starts to take the stronger wall. No man, Paul and live have a team. Bro, brother, Paul and we are talking about look how much years. Paul and live have a team for five months, brother. Um, uh, uh, Arsenal, I'm going to tell you about You know what I say? From Ben Laden, dead Arsenal. You know what I say? Ben Laden support Arsenal. And from him, dead. Arsenal are back to and I'll know. Them uh, but them can win yeah, 95 but... games in a row. If Jamaica can win 95 games in a row, me tell you, say, crime and violence done at Jamaica. Everybody done footballer. If Jamaica can win yeah. 35 games in a row, if nobody not dead at Jamaica again. But JD, my only one with them score four, we score five, and then score seven, we score eight, and we win with them. And by the box, 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 and lose. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, and look pretty and lose. Oh, oh, and Jamaica, when, when, when I'm done, when I'm done, you answer because I'm not link the system them as yet. I still have work on it. Go ahead, finish up the caller, and then Jamaica, I'm going to answer. Jamaica, in a 80 position right now, where, where we are going to league, um, league B and then something. But yes. Enjoy. But let me hear what's going on. Yeah, man. You have to hang up and then you can hear because um, the system them don't link. And I'm not on the stream yet, right. so that's why. Yeah. Yeah, really. Ah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. And if you need to take a call back in as well. Um, for me, I agree. No, no. For me, I agree with him and enjoy the wins, them. Yes. But remember, I am here to analyze. And the coach, why you think the coach, why you think the coach, I am um, a, a video analyst? You think the other stream wants to score some goal and done? Uh, because of people like me, him know so I got to stay up on the neck and make sure him have to get it right. And uh, that's our job, you know. So we don't have to go in a JFF for, for me and say we do nothing. Our job is to make sure we, we stay on the neck to make sure we, crit we critique things and point it out and make sure it's very clear. So we know who want to win. But remember, the objective is to get Jamaica better. You get me? So um, if you win this one game, you want can repeat it back again. When your objective is to get better, you can repeat the process a little bit more. Not the one half and and and, and one half script over line thing. You get me? We want to be consistent because we say we are a big team. We can't in the same sense as say we are a big team and in the same sense as say we just need to score one goal and win the game there and the carry come off. No, the, what makes you a big team is to repeat the feat. What makes Arsenal a big team is because they are gonna come out and repeat what they have done. Over over and over and over and over. So we, regardless of them winning nothing, which them now win nothing, <laughs> that might be my bad mind, but which them now win nothing, them still consider as a big team now. Just the same because they can repeat the feat and maybe they can get the extra edge over the top 
over one of the top top teams them like a manchester city as well but i'm not gonna de people, divert the conversation all right people, i will let jamaican go now and jason go now all of them go now talk you know funny enough you know, actually actually kind of actually partially agree with you Carl, eh? because the, 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 what you want to do in football is to win games that is what the coach is there for the coach is there to win games so you have to understand that however Football is not just about winning games alone. It is about that primarily, of course, because you want to win games and get championships and get glory and fame. But it's also about entertaining, winning beautifully. That is what makes football a game that we all over there start talk about for, for every day. We still not talk about it and watch it every weekend. And we, that is it. So it's about the entertainment, but the, those moments where you say, yeah, that, those moments. So those moments can come via a pass from like what Daniel Johnson made from a free kick and 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 um and be able to run on and score. It can come from individual brilliance from Demarai Gray. It can come from um being in the right place at the right time and getting a, a, a beautiful pass that, that that um that that um Nicholson finish. So it can come from varying everybody get them joy differently. Some people love a defensive tackle, some people love when goal score. Okay. If you ask 10 midfielders what do they love most, them are gonna, some are going to say them love score more, some are going to say them love pass more, mm -hmm. some are going to say them love free kick more. You know what I mean? Everybody have them varying opinion. But the fact is this. We as Jamaican fans, based on where we so, think so highly of ourselves, we want to see beautiful football that we win. Now, when the beautiful football comes, all the while when the beautiful football comes and somebody comes and shake up the system, then get rid of them. I have I have four three examples of that. Schaefer was one. Um, My boy from England, um, our boy. John, John, Barnes, John was another. Barnes and Paul Hall. Um, and and Paul Hall was another. The people them that come in the system, I want to shake up the system and and rattle too many feathers. Them people they get to that quick and fast. You have to forward in, forward in the system, work with the program, and everybody good with you. And that is where Jamaica football stops. So it's based, our football is not being hindered by our lack of players or whatever. I, our football is being hindered by administration, which was alluded to by one of the big players. I mean, I decide, said that if Jamaica don't do certain things, it's because of the administration, not because of the players. So it's the administration as a mess of it. If it's not flight, them a mess up. Because them, them want to see if us don't forward because they never want to decide in, in the first place. Um, for whatever reason it may be, maybe a man in there like him or maybe someone and tell him about him mother or something. We don't know. But something happened with them and want to see if they try to keep out see for the side and try to hide him. Now, that has nothing to do with the strengthening of Jamaica because if we have a player who is playing in Europe right now, who is doing this thing and playing in one of the Europa League, I think that's a conference league even at all. Mm -hmm. So if he's playing in one of those leagues and doing well, doing excellent actually, not even doing well, doing excellent, and you don't want to call him because he's telling about your mother, that, is, that has nothing to do with Jamaica football. That have to do with your ego or whatever it may be where you have a, where you have, where them have a vibes against the youth. And yet still, these are the same people two years before we went to Europe to play was saying that we want more Jamaican local born players in the side. But yet still, when a local born player goes overseas and is doing him thing, he's forgotten. Or they want to forget them. So it's a weird thing. Ta um, same thing with Paris. Paris leaves Jamaica from a local youth. Garfari and I do him thing. Then they are playing a big league in a, in a, in a, in a nice European league. They might call some local man over him. Which makes no sense. He's a local band player who is doing this thing overseas in a bigger league and a better league and doing well, and they're not calling, calling him till recently. So it, 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 it's not about, we have to look deeper into some of the situations. Then. We want to see beautiful football being played. That is what we want to see, and we are winning too. I mean, we, 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 um, the, the winning this coach is, 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 is steered away more, and nobody wants to see him back in the Jamaica side. He's the winning this coach because he's, he's won the most games. And him no one, nobody no want to see him in our side. So if we were all about winning, just calling him back then and make him be the coach of Jamaica. Right? But we don't want just winning alone. We want to win beautifully. So we want to win looking good winning. We don't rate Brazil because they're going to win games. We rate Brazil because they win beautifully. We don't rate France because they win games. Manchester United, City, Arsenal, no matter where you, who you support. It, you know, just rate them a card and win games. You rate them a card and win games beautifully. And th they create those moments which are unforgettable to us as football fans. So I agree with the caller like halfway, but it's not only about winning. I mean, I like the ugly win and the idiot 
kick up ball in a sky if you something in a like seat. Come here, Arsenal fan, obviously. More on the ball, put on the ground and play. And I think we have the players to do it. But somehow it's all about woofing the ball. And then when, when we woof the ball, oh, Jamaica no good, Jamaica no good. The same people that we ask them want to win are the same people that we say Jamaica no good because our football look ugly. The coach, I can see, the, the, the JD, you and we, we well, we watch a match them. We can see that the coach is trying to implement a way of. Even when they're playing the ball out, it's not a wolf. Most of the times, you realize that it's a pass. It's lower. It's a lower. It's a lower pass. It's like um, the other day, Arsenal changed goalkeeper and, and, and then put Raya in a goal, the Spanish goalkeeper. And I was trying to figure out, you know, we have we know we not pay attention to goalkeepers like that. Not for the time because we don't really look upon them skill set like that. Most of the time, we just look at them guys take the ball out of the goal. But there are other things about a goalkeeper we're not look upon. So I was looking at Raya. I said, what's the difference between Raya and Ramsdale? So I'm watch back the match them and oh Rhea kick the ball, he not kick it out, he pass it out. So it's a high pass as opposed to a clearance. You understand me, Sergio? Yes, yes. Sometimes him that you don't like him too comfortable. Mm. You know, <laughs> him too comfortable sometimes. You know, like he believes that he him world world class passer. You know, yeah. But him, no, him good, him good, him good still. Him good, him good, him good. Remember, you know, we're not used to that. You know, think about it, mama. We're not used to play as football as you, but we're now the football has reached a level now where everybody has to be able to play. From Oliver Kahn and them man, they uh, um, uh, play sweeper keeper. And them man, they kind of um, change the game certain way when it comes to goalkeepers because you're African, you use your foot. So now it changed the whole entire um, perspective of what a goalkeeper is now. It's not just keeping the ball out of the net. You are, you are now the first. The first point of attack. Yes. You have to be able to pass the ball now, as opposed to we just move out the ball and hope your man catch it. You used to see some man back in the 80s and 90s that was kick some ball up nice guy. No, the man, the man pass out the ball. So that I see the coach trying to get the, the goalkeepers to pass so, the ball. So, so be, be, based on what you are saying, then, you think that at some point he's going to. Um, He's going to get it playing to a level that we are going to be satisfied. That's what you're saying, then, because. I, I think I see a system building. I think I see the coach building a system. I don't think it's the most built. I don't personally. I think Jamaica can play a four-two-three-one formation effectively, but and maybe we don't have the personnel to play it. But I think we can play it effectively. I see him try it the other day, and I must let him try the other day, and we look decent. But um, as we, 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 we use two um 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 we use a, 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 two midfielders, right? One for the tackles and one for the ball playing. But we don't have a box to box. So you understand the message here? We don't have a box to box. We have two players that are sitting. We had that we had Bailey playing um as a, like a ten. And we had um Wayne the over on the wing. Over on the right wing. And and the Marai Gray over on the left. So we were playing a defective we were playing that and we look we look decent. We look especially in the second half, we actually look actually look like a good side. We put some nice passes together. And even when the changes were made, we didn't see a drop off in quality. So that in itself is you see a system farming. So we have to look at things when it farm. Nobody, not, brother, when time, the, the, where everybody are praised when they say, I'm going to every game and win when play. Um, if you lose games, too, uh, six losing get. Yeah, man, big. Uh, lose games, big as well. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, nobody, get. but the caller just, expli the caller just explains, the caller just explains that well. Jamaica not care about nothing more than we just win the games. But the game they will win, remember. We don't remember not even the game that we lose. So, majority of the, the, the quest to make it for World Cup, nobody don't remember nothing will actually happen in a World Cup. So, that's why they believe that so we did actually good going into the final sister days. And we just did need one piece, not realizing that we don't get all six. And then madness there. You understand me? Yes. So, them, 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 them not watch about the history. Yeah. You know, the greatest thing about it, um, JD, you hardly find none of them money and support Stoke City. <laughs> Are early. <laughs> All of them money we attack them thing and them support um Arsenal, City, United, all of them. And them big side of them so side will play for good football. Boy, Bayern Munich, Manchester United, um, um Barcelona, Madrid, and them side of them supporting you know. them. But okay. when it comes to Jamaica, oh just win. But them are support side where I play football. All right, yeah. don't it? The club side, where you're a banner club, you're a banner club, you're, you're a chummy, you can't even hear Barney or not. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not a banner club, you're not an affiliation with the club on a, on a personal level like that. Mm -hmm. You just be group and love aside. 
right? Your okay. group fall in love with that side and say, this is the side I'm going to support. But we are talking about your nation. And you're saying, oh, me just want to win. Stoke City style. Me not business how me win. Me just want to win. But when it comes to your team that you support, that you're born and fell in love with, you want them to play good football. Because when Manchester um, United can't win a match, you will have Manchester United fans them cuss. Everywhere you see them buy online a cuss. So, so, so why is it that you're, you, you want to allow Jamaica, you want, you're cool with Jamaica playing ugly football and all you have to do is win. But when it comes to your club side, you don't want them to play ugly football. And Jamaica is a nation. That's not patriotic. Right? Yeah, yeah, powerful, powerful. We have to, what, what we're going to do, we're going to try and find a way how we can make people accept the standard what we need to reach, you know, and avoid this, we can just win. I, I strongly believe what why it's in the YouTube space of people trying to switch them out now. It is solely based off what we talked about last night. You see, because true, we have affinity towards people that's in the JFF and maybe around the coach now. We tend to start try to accept anything rather than having the standard that we had before. You get me? I, 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 that's what I was trying to say last night, you know, as well. So, a lot of things change, and I'm hoping that um, outside the YouTube fan base, um, Jamaica start to see this thing as for what it is, you know? Call it as, as it is, if he's getting his result, and he says he has a plan, let me know. If he does not have a plan, um, we have to figure next week out how to improve it as well. Because remember, you know, we had, we had Mexico. Mexico came in with one game and only lost to one damn game. And they fired the coach the next day because they never liked the style and they put in a next coach. That never have nothing. So, Dima has a results performance in any side. All right. Trump's perf performance in any side. Well, Mexico did have all of the wins them. But yet still them lose the one game. And then them fire him. And they never fire him because of the one game we lose on the day. They never like the style because they believe that the, re the performance can improve and be consistent and bring back all of the results where you need. You understand me? They don't believe that the vision of what he showed on the field would have turned out the performances in the future. You cannot just go in life and just say, oh, performance, be it re um, the results are, are results are everything. I, you, are, you always put that like that in a demo. And it's always not 100% of a cut and dry. Because um, we can keep, keep on saying that every time he turns up against a big team, we don't get the win. Every time he turns up against a big team, we don't get the win. We play Mex Mexico, we don't win. We draw and we lose. We play United States, we draw against a weaker United States. All right? Yes. So And then now we're going to play Canada. So if we don't win against Canada, are, are we truly saying these are, prof these are results? Because as what um, Jamaican Guna said, we were beating these teams with Tapa. So the difference, what we, we, we said we wanted to bring in more better players and then a better system so we can reach the top four. But if we keep on beating just the ones them that we were beating before and can't, be, can't get any results again or can't win against the big teams, them, have we really improved because we have better players now? So have we really improved? And that's where I would show that results thing in the, in the bin because really and truly if we're not getting the results against the big teams them are we truly getting the results them because we're getting them every single time before as well even with a local full team we're getting the results them that is the hard question we have to ask you know and i would love for people to answer that especially demo as well because i think demo always just want to pick the opposite side for the opposite sake because just as how he said, oh, the coach no, no win, no lose, no, no competitive match. No, no, but every main match is that we need the result in from one of the big teams and we don't get it. Because we, we needed a win against Mexico. We never get it. We got a draw. Then we play against United States. Um, we, if we had gotten a win, we would have gotten a better favored result. No, we get a draw against a United States team. Then we go up against uh, Mexico. We needed a win to advance. We lose the game. So and if, if you put the context in, every time we wanted a result, we go out there, we don't get the result. So you can't just say, oh, I'm draw them, give me a draw them. No, we never get the result that we needed. We needed a win to advance. And we needed um, a win to advance. And we never got none of them any one of the times. Them. So those are just, e those are just not good results in Edema, period. Um, Fana said, um, Madness here talk. How much time in history will win against Mexico? 
So, but how can I be talking make madness? So now that military, I say, we never get the, the, the results them against Mexico. Now that's why we say we are going to fire the manager. Get a new manager. Get all of the new players them. So have we actually improved? Because we still can't get the results against these teams just the same. You understand me? With better players. So have we actually improved? For the not, and we are still complaining about the system. That's all I'm asking them for the not. So I'm just, it's just, and I'm debunking what G, um, Dima is saying as to the results all the time. Is th th That's it. I'm, and how we broke, broke it down. Oh, the coach only lose one competitive game. Come on, man. Come on. It's like we always want things to just go extremely bad before we even talk on it. But I will leave Dima because even when um, we are fail in the World Cup, Dima still has a top of the right man for the job. So I will leave him. So we lost to one big team. One, one, to one, one big team. And we drew uh, with two. All right. And um, you, okay, let me let me leave him alone. I'm not gonna get into it. I'm not gonna leave it alone because it's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna go in the same circle, even though I know my one thousand percent correct on the matter there. But I will just leave it alone. All right? Yes. <laughs> All right. So let me move on. Let me move on. Um. Because I have my point and um, Dima will not accept my point anytime because I, I have never been here and Dima ex accept a point. So I don't expect it to happen. None at all. You understand me? So I'm not going to waste my time to argue the ad additional 30 minutes. <laughs> um, we struggle to beat never. 80. No. From a no Dima for the whole years then I'm a no Dima before we're in a YouTube for Jamaica. So from England to now, Dima never pick up, never actually, even when we have the facts, Dima tell me, say, a something else on top of the facts, why it happened. So me not go, me not go a fight with Dima, all right? Because me not go ever right in a Dima eyes, even when I have the facts come to him and say, Dima, here is the facts. Me not, me can't write, so I leave Dima alone. <laughs> JD, good morning. Can we please stop talking about Tapa because he's not good? Um, Dima says he's good, so that, that is one different person say he's good. So leave <laughs> alone. Um, it's not about um, right or wrong, boss. You like performance even when we lose. Playing pretty is like results over performance. Okay, so that's what he's saying. I'm obsessed with pretty football. All right, it's okay. Let me leave it alone. It's a bit, it's a bit Jason. We're not going to... <laughs> <laughs> all right him spin it you know him spin it so me give him the break mr united said jd when we beat mexico in 1998 it was like public holiday it's hard for jamaica to beat uh, mexico but we have to we have to have some standard people let me pull up the jamaica team let me pull up the jamaica team because it's like people don't know what really are going people it's like we're not, we, we don't know what going jamaica um team we have to have some standard, all right? What what was it? Let me let me just ask you. What was the difference? What made we couldn't beat Mexico? Uh, in your eyes, people viewing this video, what made we couldn't beat Mexico? Um, Jason and Jamaican Guna, what made we couldn't beat? What made it difficult for us to to to, to beat Mexico? And it was a public holiday when we get um get to that level. What what you believe made that happen? And then we are going to have the conversation because we are trying to break it down, you know, to show that we we even when uh, even when. All right, look, what made we couldn't beat Mexico? Uh, so go ahead, Jason and Jamaican Guna. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something, you know. L listen to what Jamaican yeah, Guna better, and Jason Jason will say. Better, I I would say what made it difficult over the years is just better football development, better talent identification, um, just a better system overall more professionalism in the in the organization and the federation and the team itself um so all of those factors preparation not being much you know you know jamaica not being as prepared as mexico um and yeah mexico a lot of times as well mexico home advantage with the altitude is a problem as well so a lot of factors okay okay um, good lad you, you you're going to too much <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was never thinking about all of those things that you wanted to put in it, but I like the fact that you started with um it's a lot of factors and you started with players 
um and obviously at that time we were relying on local talent so you're talking about the infrastructures and stuff because obviously at that time but because now we can just get the better ball as them now um the infrastructure um as in to develop would not be so important as to to know basically because now we, we did not get four players from england maximum five and now we have 20 had from england and we have four from jamaica so it is it is the reverse and those four that comes from jamaica don't even get the develop inside jamaica they get the development from outside jamaica as well so we don't need people to develop in jamaica anymore we can just get it so that's done so pretty much we just need better players and then now you add the other things them on it jason as to the the infrastructures um as on time pay for things make sure people are the best condition and and stuff and then obviously added the altitude so take the game away from from mexico take the game and put it in america um with all of that now and we'll fix but the main thing you said is better players yes players is a is a huge factor as to why we find it difficult to beat mexico um they, their their ability to develop talent is is next level and so they have like what you would call a conveyor belt of talent so at any time even when, as you said right now they're transitioning and they're still performing and getting results mm -hmm. and it's 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 a lot of different players than what we've been seeing in the last five years so um yeah i, I think in that sense they have always been able to produce talent and we mm -hmm. we have not been able to produce it at that level so that that there goes the difference all right you see what you said now jason so go back to that now uh, so that means you'd have rubbish the claim of um if we win against mexico public holiday no because when you look at our players them you think say them as good as the mexican players them maybe maybe if you said them style of play is not the same but you actually think that they are in the ballpark of the same players them would you say not or yeah i think i think mexico probably has um more consistency throughout the, the the whole entire 23 but when you look at like the top 12 13 of jamaica's you could say yeah they, they, they match up kind of well um you know i think mexico like i say have more top line players more players playing in bigger leagues but i think you know in certain areas of the pitch i would say it's kind of close you know so um definitely there's improvement on that end as far as when you just look at the teams and the players on paper all right all right fair enough fair enough jamaican guna you wanted to add anything to it because what i'm doing is debunking what the new scene on uh, uh, um, said we never play pretty football but we never have good players so, no disrespect we never have them level of players that we have now so um, so that don't change your your ways of how you think because we never have them things here but then what we have now so um, so that wouldn't change the way or you think are we just trying to just stick in the same way and put the next man them the better players them in the system that's all i'm asking because i'm trying to figure out what is the like what what is our new expectation it's like we are we are accepting um to just go out there and just do whatever with them better players yeah, and not maximize the better players them go ahead go ahead um i'm jamaican so let, we're gonna run a line a ruler from the 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 the, the world cup era where we beat mexico 2-1 you know the azteca and we're gonna run a ruler there forward and and we're we gonna never look at we never beat parts. mexico in the azteca though jamaica guna and where did he beat them no we beat them in jamaica no in man what about this goal? Goal? Where, where was that when Walter Boy scored the goal, Walter, Walter Walter goal uh, yeah we, we never win the game there we never win the game at all we lose the game two one yeah we never let me, let me pull up the stats and show you that was that was huge for us because i want to say in a world cup qualifier that was the first time we ever scored in a mexico but we didn't win the game guna we lose two hold on hold on okay may i look on the stats them now so remember, go back. no may I, may I bring it up may i, may I bring it up on the, the screen may i bring it up on the screen yeah bring it up yeah all the matches them for jamaica jamaica matches them we are going to put this on the screen. Don't worry yourself, Big, big Pass. Don't worry yourself. Yeah, it's, 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 we was, lose 2-1. One. One. It was 2-1 one or 3-1. One. one of them. But we lose. We know we lose the game. But, so the only time Jamaica ever beat Mexico was um, in the, the in, in um, World Cup? And 
and in Kingston in the semi final round in like nineteen ninety seven, I believe it was before the, the the final round. We beat them in the stadium one nil. Pepe one one love. Header. Yeah. One love, right? Yeah. Yeah, me did the other match then. All right, cool. So let's go back there. Me too. So Okay, so my my, my, my fix up that um I, that was inaccurate on my part. So let's go back to where we be uh, where we did where we beat Mexico. Number one, can we remember um the formation that um Rene Samoa is um deployed during <laughs> his tenure? Can you remember? It? Uh five three two. Uh, five three two. Five yeah, three two. Not I'm always. Good. He still he he did fluctuate he around four or five good. matches. Um, in the first thing, because yeah. remember, it's a two stint he had to for Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, in his but first stint, the primary thing to get us to the World Cup was 5 3 2. And we yes, played a, yes. a style, a attacking style of, um, of, um, of, of counter attacking football. We had pacer wingers, we had parallel, we had some man chain on the flank. So that is basically what we do. And we had wing backs instead of right backs and left back. We had wing backs instead. So we had a formation. We had a system of play. Um, when we decided to swap out Messam and swap in Bibi Gardner, we improved. When we decided to swap out Dean Sewell and swap in um, Linval Dixon and the man there, and it, 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 it was a different thing. So we, we, we had players here. We had a better system of play. We had better local players. That is number one. So let's get that, get that clear. We had better local players. But we had a system. Everybody forward in know, say, all right, as some wing back we're gonna play with. Because there was a there was a brother called Shorty Malcolm. Alright? I think he may drop out one. I think he may drop out two. Yeah, man. Shorty Malcolm was Accident, the yeah. right back. Right. And then Shorty Malcolm was 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 displaced by by um Fabian what's name? Um, Fabian Davis. Fabian Davis at right back. See? We have to cover and flick over man eight pan line and them something. There. So we had we had better local players, and these players were local. We had better local players. That is number one. Number second is that we had a coach who you use the tools in this toolbox available to him. Do you know that players like um 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 Andy Williams, there was uh Tiago Whitmore, there were players there that all the, they were flair players. They all them pick up the ball and ship up a salad and make some beautiful passes through. Those two players were there as as pivotal in in, a, in a, the development of our team. We had forwards, local forwards, that their main thing was just scoring goal. A man named one, one, one brother named Tiga. Right? Not the one who fought my year show, JD. The other one. The one who had that. <laughs> that one. Yeah, man. We know we know which T right? you're talking as well. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, the man will find a way to put the ball on the goal and then can't ship a flight. So, what I try to say to you is this. We have to be careful of what we are talking about because we love our side. We love Jamaica. But we have to be realistic. And that is something that me eat it, brother, when we get uh, me there are other places, I mean, your other fans reviewing the matches and talking about Jamaica. They're not talking about in a good light. Them, 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 fan, the fan base is delusional. I mean, eat it, that. I mean, hear it even yesterday. Because we are not... We're not looking at, we have good players, but we have, a, we have a system problem, bro. We don't have a system of play where you can say, okay, Jamaica play 4 2 3 one or Jamaica play 4 3 3 or whatever. And it has to start from the young age, ball of them, the under-15s. We have to have a system of play where the JFF control football in Jamaica. And them say, listen, what we're going to play is this system for the whole entire Jamaica. That is how you're going to fix the situation. Not just power on YouTube and chat about that garbage. We are talking about fixing the system, fix it from the, the, the we, we do England do. When they reactivated St. George, um, I think it was called St. George's Park or whatever, do what France did. They did something similar as well, where they decided to build them thing from, from up. Do what Belgium did, where they decided to build them thing from up. Them go from the root and then build it come straight up. So we, we must have a system in which the under 15, the under 17, the under 20, and the national team play the same way. They must play the same way. It, you can't have woof in a one department, hoof in another department, goof in another department, and scoof in another department. We want all of the players them to play one flip down way, come straight up the line. That means that when it reaches national team, everybody knows how they're supposed to play when they reach a national level. Even if they're playing differently at their clubs. They know so when they come at national level, at this way I go play. We are gonna play 
Four three two one. We are going one, one ball playing center half and one way 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 is a bull buckle where just kick on people and and, and 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 rough up some people. We are going to have one left back we can tuck in and one and one and one wing back we can tuck in and one wing back we are chasing on the way. I'm, I'm, I'm providing a little, little bit more in attack. We don't have, we don't see nothing like that. We don't see, we used to have it in a row. Remember that we used to have it. Even as people are, are, are this of Alvas Powell, who we know for this of a national player them certain ways still. But them are this of Alvas Powell. Alvas Powell, when he came into the, into the team, he was a very attacking fullback. So he made that, he made that provide width for us and, and a lot of play. We don't have that right now at this current time. We don't have that. We don't have somebody that's talking in the middle and help out the midfielders them when, when it needs to be. We don't have that, bro. So we may not see a system farming yet. I'm not saying it's not gone, but we're not seeing a system farming yet. So we can say, okay, this are the system that they play. The way the Mexican them play, brother, them have a system. The man them fouled with a seaside and them still have to beat Jamaica. Because of the mere facts, them have a system. When one player drop out, the other fouled and them do the exact same thing. All right, here we are going to do. We are going to take on the right back of Jamaica. We, Jamaica, Jamaica, right back them always. We, we can take them and mash them up. So the man them go over there and the man them text it for pa, 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 um, pa my boy, the Pam Brown. You over me, I say? And this is not coincidental. Football, we are talking about when man watch video here, you know, brother. It's not like it's a secret, you know. Some man say, okay, Jamaica, weak side, our right, right hand side. So we need strength there. So, all right. So, here what they are going to do. They are put them are double up and triple up and cars overloads over the side. And them do it all the time. So, why you think them do it? Why them do it? We now figure out. We feel like, say, when, when, when Jamaica and Fandy is here, so Jamaica play a match. Then they look at your opponent, you know. Which, 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 go watch which match. With who? How am I to man Jamaica six them, man? Them are good. Them side they not good. That is our that is our approach thing. We not go check out. We not do opposition scouting. They say, boy, yo, me go check out that side and so. Me go look on Canada and see what Canada go on. Me go see the last two matches and three matches. YouTube is free. Just go up on YouTube, type in Canada um, 2023 and see what them last three matches them. And see if we can get some highlights, man. Who is going doing the well. And do some little research. It not take long, but we have 15 minutes. And you find out who are them danger players and everything. It not take more than that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of our fan base don't want to do that, brother. You see, pre? Yeah, because remember, we want we want to talk and argue, you know. So <laughs> if if we go and watch it, we are gonna have less and less to argue on. You understand me? In our favor. So that is not an argument you know, for you know, <laughs> Guna, Guna, you know what you say? Would that be great, you know? Like forget a one style of play that everybody implement. But here's the problem with that in a Jamaica now. You see the you see the ego of the of the people I mean of the football in a Jamaica. It it's gonna make it hard. For, for, for it settle for a one system because every time them sit down for have the meeting this man I got tell us that, that system better and we have to use this amount of defender and this amount of attacker and so yeah it would have great to do it in a guna but me not see it possible but you don't see you don't see you don't see that but Jason you don't see you don't see you don't see other you don't think other 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 systems deliberate you don't think there was that argument there in Belgium as well you don't think that there was that argument in England? When England said, we need to, to move away from uh, this system, when they, when they make the World Cup. They were like, oh, uh, shit, we need one, one, one second, Kevin. Um, wait, wait until they finish and they continue. Yeah, just finish we up because we have a call. Yeah? Of having six-year-olds and seven-year-olds playing on full-pitch fields. So them take the field, them, bust up the big field, them in a four and five, and make the field them smaller because they were emulating what Spain did. Because Spain play on small fields. Yeah, but where you so just say a while ago? Where you just say a while ago? Where you just say a while ago? I'm saying England and coming England. together. I am saying the way we think is going to stop that. Because uh, mere yeah. Jamaicans that in the football saying, why are we going to look at what other teams doing? Look at what we've done before. We can do it again. So mm -hmm. in them brain, them think what we did one time to reach World Cup can yeah. work. Yeah. No one can read. Yeah. Um, what, what, Jason, what, 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 Jamaica Guna, Jamaica Guna, let me, let me take the call and then we'll get, we'll get straight back to the conversation because it's a good one. Um, Carla, um, go ahead, go ahead, Carla. Kevin, how are you doing? Uh, blessings, blessings. Yeah, yeah, man, bless up, bless up. Um, I agree, I agree with Jamaica Guna, but okay. to an extent. Mm -hmm. Because the problem with the 98th squad, if you notice, if you notice the 98th squad, even though we were we had mostly local base players, we could not go forward alone with local base. 
because when it touched on the big stage in the Mexico, on them side we were having problem coming down from the flank and the midfield. Mm -hmm. Mexico used to beat us with the flank most of all. Understand what I say? Yeah. And if you notice, um, it was when time we strength the midfield when time seems to come, come play that 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 role where you can string the ball in forward. The ball all we put him on the wing. You have a, 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 another another man, the Frank Sinclair, could come strength in the defense. Um, that was when um, Whitmore, nah, not Whitmore, Whitmore could move freely in the defense because um, Peter Cargill was too slow before um, Simpson and them the come in. That was our major problem. And even now, we still don't move on from the 98 piece we were having at the midfield. And now we don't get a quality midfielder at all, no. Who can control the ball move it as quickly as possible that a jump make a major problem we always have good defense we always have good forward and good wingers but the problem is the midfield we always have the slowest set of midfield in the, in, in, in the middle of the park and jamaican go on right me eight when people are gonna say oh um jamaican fans them delusion that but you have to understand too okay 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 the federation needs to do better. You collect money, you must can, can, can start from grassroots. Set a system, I'm agree with him 100%. All right, all right. Um, you have some background noise. I don't know if it, if you're at work or something. I heard Omza saying the background noise. Yeah, man, noise. man, man. Right. Cool. So late, you later, later, yeah, man. So later, we are going to be back on. Yeah, I think, um, people, if we reach cool. 300 likes, we are going to come back on again. Yeah. So yeah, support this the stream. Um, we have not hit 200, I think. Um, Jason, don't don't tell me that we reached 200. Okay, you, know, you like to try correct me, you know. <laughs> I don't know how you are seeing um, updated one, but I can't see it. <laughs> you got go. Sorry about that, Jamaican good. Just because the call came in, I just wanted him to say his piece, and then we, we continue. So you can continue from what we left off. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I was saying to Jason, we, every 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 administration is faced with similar problems. Some people did, saying that they didn't. I I was watching a documentary where, as as I was saying a while ago about the um about the, the, the UK, how England did it. When England realized that they were, they they, they didn't make the World Cup because them cocky and follow themselves. You know? So they feel like them 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 entitled. Oh, we we invented football, so we are entitled to go every football. We are the best thing in the world, and we win it already. So nobody can chat to me. When they got a reality check and realized that they didn't go to the World Cup, they that started to go far and realize that they need to take big babies, kids, off of the big field them, because they had like nine, ten year olds playing on big fields. They decided to bust up the field them in a four and have them playing on smaller pitches so they had better touch. They had less time on the football, and it was it was a lot about technique as opposed to just kick the ball forward and tear down the place. Remember, at one point, people had, um, 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 what are you the name again? Um, dude from Arsenal, as, as, as one of the best thing, you know. All the man they do is fast, in the brother. He scored a whole pack goal, but him just fast. Oh, Theo Walker. Walker. See? So, me just have shown a vibe, say, it, and, and you had some players who all they had was pace, and when they coming onto the pitch, you used to have a comment, yes, this player is going to change game because he has pace. Little did they know, the whole entire, system little did they know that football was not only about pace so they saw this team um um coming in and they were like which was spain with small players small technical players and they were saying there's no way that them players they can beat because they're not fast and they went that went and won the world cup and the euros so they changed the whole entire platform of football and what spain did remember spain was 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 um perennial dark asses of every world cup what Spain did was Spain decided that every single team in Spain have to play 4 3 3. Every single team had to play it. And it was our day, so you have to play it. We and and, that, and, that, and that. not just 4 3 3, but the additional um, um, traits towards it as well. The ticket I can tiki play taka, for. Taka, yes. Taka. And, yeah. um, oh, the, it, and develop technical players as well to improve the ticket. Yes. So there are three criteria um, in order to complete mm -hmm. their national team. But their, their sole goal was their national team. So when we see Real Madrid um, playing and win Champions League Barcelona, Everybody should lead up back to the, the the team, so everything was connected. So you, you're saying that we and the only way we are going to reach forward unless we have something like that. Um, Jamaican Guna, you think there's something like that that yeah, we're going to forward? Yeah, we have to be right. people will come in and shake up the thing. 
it, it has to be something where it's not just talking about the, the problems and the flaws that Jamaica side have. We have to have people with vision to forward in and say, okay, based on our attributes, what do we have? And use our attributes, as I said, use up the tools them in your toolbox. Spain don't have the tallest players, so what they have is technicality, so they use the technicality. Them use what them have. Germany, okay. say, you know what Germany used to do? Um, JD, let me get a look at the history. Germany used to have a, have a thing that you cannot play for Germany unless your grandfather is German. Do you know that? Uh, I'm, I'm never going on uh, them history there of, of who are yeah, German. And them, so they never, thing, uh, yeah, the other thing that they, if, if your grandfather is not German, you can't play for Germany. And and there was this guy who is um who is German, but he's African. He's called Asamoah. One black youth. Mm -hmm. He broke the mold because he was so good and he was mashing up Gunda's Liga that they had to put him in at the side and they had to change the rules to make that youth the play. And when that youth the play, that opened up the door for players such as Ozil, Tadira, all of these players who did Podolski and all these players who were their grandfather, Podolski is Polish. Gunda one, Gunda one. They opened up the door for those players who their grandfathers were not Jamaican. And that's where, where Germany came back and won the World Cup, my chief. So we have to understand yeah, that yeah. they have people making is the administration that made these changes so that it can open up the doors, identifying so, the problem. So, so, so what type of someone said our oh, 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 attribute is same as England. We fast and strong. Um but but we less skill, so we less technical. Um so, so what so, system so, so, Jamaican Guna Jamaican just made and the coach's style of play, the kind of defensive play direct to the strikers you don't think that suit jamaica's attributes um no all right here is here is where we use for god the world cup so let's look back at the world cup here's where we use we use we use, a pace we use you know a pace we use and go the world cup we mm -hmm. use pace and we add people who, who in the midfield like uh, um like as like uh who are, who are prepared to work me used to hear jamaica and i complain about um about Cargill, you know. Oh, Cargill too slow. Cargill pass back the ball back way all the while. Oh, really? What they were doing was drying out the side so that the side can't come at them. And when the side come at them, what they did was pass the ball to the wing them and a winger were fast like playing tail on the wing and I'm going to get to in the, in the positions that we need. And we have a forward up front where Jamaican never rate. No Jamaican never rate Deanne Burton. None. Them I said them man they can't shift them and they can't salad nobody and can't pile nobody. But here is where the trick is. Here is where the trick uh, is. Here is where the trick is. One time I saw Dean Burton take a ball. And when Jamaica warm up, come used to do every Jamaica match at that time. Because I was most a junior, um, most a junior journalist, yeah. So me they had every single match. Training and everything. Dean Burton pick up the ball and go in front of the, 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 the bleachers. And then started to to, 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 to to shoulder the ball. Juggle the ball, shoulder to shoulder. And he was there for like five minutes to juggle the ball, shoulder to shoulder. Ten minutes passed, and still did not juggle the ball, shoulder to shoulder. And people are looking at him and like, bro, me never know you have skill. But here's the trick to it now. It's when me got training, go watch Jamaica train. It's when you had a player from Waterhouse at the time called Kevin Leamy. Kevin Leamy pick up the ball, all the goalkeeper, all the grass, him shift off of the, off of the, the, the ground. All the stone them off of the ground get shift and salad and pile. The way man shift everything, but he now nah scored the amount of goal and Burton nah scored. Every ball come cross, Burton nah edit not nah the goal. Every ball. Remember at the time when Burton was playing for Jamaica, but Burton was in his 20s. Remember that, you know. Burton was in 27, 28, 29 when he went to the World Cup. Um, in Burton the game, I, I think... He, uh, he, 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 he was like 21 or 22. Yeah. I think he was 19 or something. 19 to 20? Yes, uh, yeah, when he came in. So let's yeah, put yeah, in people not mm -hmm. not JD. We have to remind them. People yeah, he's don't nineteen remember. to twenty. Yeah, he's nineteen to twenty. Yeah, when he came here, he came yeah, here and, and, and he came here on a, on, on a vacation with Paula and them, and Paula them invited him to to train in to just watch, and then he touched the field, and then Rene Simon is pretty much asked him if he wants to play for Jamaica. Then he had to contact back his father. And to to get the go ahead to play for Jamaica because when they saw him played, they asked if he had any Jamaican in him. So based on oh, even they asked that question of him having any Jamaican in him, they never expected him to be Jamaican <laughs> because of his color. So you see, so yeah, so so that from from half his color already, 
they never even expected him to be Jamaican. And if I, that's what I heard from his story. Paul said, um, yes, he's Jamaican. He has Jamaican um, lin some connection. He has Jamaican parentage or something. And that's why they went over to him. But I heard that he was mashing up the training, man. And you can listen to his interviews, them himself. He tells you the story mm -hmm. himself. Yeah, man, me dead, man, me see the man I do it in a real as me say, me's a water supporter, so me that support Kevin Lee, because Kevin Lee, me them time was a local youth too, and he made in a national program. And me, I tell you, Kevin Lee, me skill a kill skill on the man by one million times, bro. But the man, I kick the ball, and the matter where the ball go, it a going at the goal, bro. The man, accuracy is off the chain, bro. So um, when him get oh, on the field, oh, that him do that Jamaica, the Jamaica, goal, Jamaica, he, bro. Jamaica, Jamaica, here, man, must say, um, JD, you love bring up color. I have just repeated what the the guy what what them them say about the guy. They they were talking his story. Oh, he got there. Let, let's keep the conversation. Um, um, eating our audience and, and educating some people and try educate. People, please go and watch the story for yourself about Dean Burton, and then you realize that I've never made up any story. That's the exact word for word what they said. They talked about his color as well too. So I I'm very sorry if yeah, I man, mentioned I'm, color. Where this white man come from? I'm calling white man. So come on, man. Well, we did it. <laughs> but um, so so JD. So the point that I'm trying to make is this, right? So if we're gonna lose a line and draw one, use one, use one pen and draw one line from that time. To know we're not upper. We, to Jamaica's current left back is that left back better than Bibi Gardner? Ah, uh, boy, oh boy, you know, Bibi Gardner was good, you know. Um, Greg Lee, what Greg Lee offers different, what Amar Bell offers different. I, 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 it's hard for me to compare them, but Bibi Gardner was highly rated, you know, at Bolton, Bibi you know. Gardner, yeah? Bibi Gardner is a bit better left back, but that than, than, than Bell and all of them. <sighs> Bibi Gardner is the best left back. I will give Bibi Garden the. I will give. I will give. I will be give Bibi Garden the, the 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 edge. Yes, I will give him the edge. Yeah, uh, he, he was a very good talent. You know, he's yeah. a very good talent. Yeah. Look, but across the field, and we look on the players, and we're going to say we have a, a, a new class of players who are, who are pretty good. Plus, we had a, a collection of local players who were basically could train for months because they never have a contract overseas, so they could train. They could train basically every weekend if they wanted to. Because they could change for months, so that that that, that chemistry but builds, and then the addition of of the Fitzroy Simpsons and, and the three Musketeers, basically, Fitzroy Simpson, Alan Burton, those three people we, basically came into Jamaica side and changed the dynamic of gym because the coach said, okay, we need a striker we can kick the ball in the goal, um, relentlessly. We need a midfielder we are gonna run up and down like on wild oats, <laughs> and we need one winger we fast like plane. So that's what we got. So I'm saying to you, we need a coach to use what we have. Because we have players, and we need a coach to use what we use the tools them that are available in the toolbox. But that is just one aspect of it. In terms of what Jamaica's system that we see, the problem is the system. We have to start playing the same way from under 15 national team to under 17 to under 20, and then make it metrically go up to. We have to look at a long-term plan. All we want to, do, as the, 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 the previous caller said, is just win some match. And once we win some match, nothing else will matter. And that is why the main focus of Jamaica's team is always on the man senior team. It's of recent, it's since it's since recent thing, the females they might get some glory that they, 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 that they deserve. Mm -hmm. The under 20, the under 15, the under 17, nobody knows why I look upon them. Because uh, a lot of times when a player leave from under 17, then they will go to the under 20. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying to you? So it's not there's no there's no plan, bro. There's just like there's just people just, just headless chicken vibes. So we have, a, uh -huh. if we want to talk about Jamaica, we can't just talk about, oh, you're the national team alone. We have to yeah. talk about Jamaica, the team of Jamaica, and how we are going to play moving forward. We have a World Cup next year. We have to look on it and say, all right, what we are going to do? Yeah, agreed, oh, agreed. Agreed. You know? um, Tara Francis, Tara Francis, if you, know, if you watch this channel religiously, you'd have known that I said Bibi Gardner is the best Jamaican baller, born baller, that I've ever seen. That's what I've said. So I was not diminishing in um, the BB Garden, but I was just thinking about modern science and everything. But I've realized that I've used the, 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 the analogy the other day, and I never um, included modern science. And that's why I said, yeah, man, um, he's better than them. You know, yeah. So I was not saying anything. BB Gardner, I'm a general man. Uh, yeah, man. Don't worry yourself about that, my brother. I am not war. I'm not fighting today. You know, uh, my energy is going down. People, 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 people. Yeah, what what uh, is that point? Um, um, stress. You know, 
just um, we have we have two two fifty in the house and we don't eat two fifty as yet, man. We don't know what I come back later. You see that we have the contents every day, you know. All right, <laughs> detonation. Big up yourself. Massive respect, people. May just pin the 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 the, uh, the, the um TikTok thingy. I built a TikTok, you know. Uh, I built a TikTok. Um, but I don't have anybody over there. I am not, I have not done a video. I have not done anything, but I just want people to go over there and follow me. All right. Yes. Because people said I should build it. So I'm going to build it. So maybe they are going, um, I will have someone manage it. So maybe the account will have snippets of things to link back people to come here. All right. Yes. So it's not going to be me, me, me just dip on TikTok like me live on TikTok because I'm going to live on YouTube either. All right, but it's going to be your next location to spread the vibes. All right, so if you like what we do, uh, bring to you, um, you follow it as well. You know, yes. Um, I will try to pin it um at certain points of the video, and I will put it in the description so you can continuously follow us over there as well. You never may know. Um, yeah. But I don't want to hear from what Jason have to say because he has his TikTok a long time too. He likes those TikTok vibes. Yes. You're too old for TikTok. You see it? I am too old for TikTok. That's why I said I am not going to manage it. People will just clip my videos and put it on there. All right? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Um, I am not doing any dance. I have said it's a business move. Some people said I can do it and just put my snippets there of the conversation and lead people back to here. You understand me? So I'm not going to be on TikTok. I don't even use Instagram and Facebook, you know, people. It's just when I do go on vacation, I take two pictures and a people it put up my lady put it up on a, my thing for to, to show people that I'm alive. I don't even use these things. When I come off the internet, I'm done. Alright? Yes, I don't use these things as what you think. So I'm not going to use the TikTok. So if you don't want to follow me there, you don't follow me. I maybe it was a bad idea. Alright? The, the link is right there. Alright? <laughs> yes, I'm, yes, I'm too old, you know? You said I'm too old. But it's okay. If I'm too old and you guys not going to um um follow it, I will just leave it alone, you know. But I just built it because sometimes you guys send me links and it says TikTok and I have to press it to go in it to see it because i can't see it without making it so i just did it so i'm saying because i have made waste my time wasted my time because you guys have sent me articles on tiktok it best i just put it there and then i will put snippets of the videos there it's only going to be snippets of the videos there for the conversations strong points and stuff and you never may know people might just click over to come on youtube to come and watch it and then you will have more people in the chat remember um um we have eight thousand people and look at how our views um consistent obviously we know that we are bigger than the eight thousand but the fact that we are growing we can grow is ridiculous and then maybe we can change more people's um attitude towards things that's what uh, J jamaican guna says um if we change the people mentality and then um the people in jff see, see that this is what the people want um, they will eventually have to change because they, they have to change to get the vote of confidence from the people. You understand me? Yes. Yeah, so we are just trying to to spread um, reality, you know, because we realize that delusional um, things in our culture reign supreme. So if we can it's, it's, um, push the, fa the, 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 the actual facts further, why should we keep on stopping those facts from reaching further? So regardless of me being old as to what you guys clearly told me, um, and I understand what you're saying, it's okay. <laughs> I, I still need my Twitter and my Instagram um, working. All right, I'm going to... And I have something new coming for you guys, you know, that will really transform the game. Not YouTube, but uh, maybe help in, transforming on, as to how Jamaican players get help. I have something in mind. I don't know if it's going to come through because these things take a lot of money. But once I do pass the ideas to people, then maybe others can come on board because I can't fund all of those things. It takes real money to do those things, you know, real money. And maybe I don't have all of that real money to do it. But I'm going to look at the idea and see what I could do because I think that would revolutionize um, what Jamaica football is at now. But definitely it's not going to serve for Jamaica football only. I think it's going to serve for the CONCACAF region. Something that I have in mind and I'm working on it still. All right. Um, the football system is getting better day by day in Jama in Jamaican football. Terra Francis, bless of herself. And more talent still come out of Jamaica. Yes, but more talent coming out of other places. And remember, at the end of the day, it's a competition. So if you have more talents over one place, um, it tend to will do better. 
you know yes than the one that you have four talents coming out in um 20 years 25 years you know so you need 400 coming out instead of um two you understand me because you can't go nowhere with that you're gonna get six and twenty to the fool you understand me sorry about the fool all right yeah i never meant it directly to you i'm just saying that you you're, you're gonna get beaten very bad <laughs> Yes, Jamaican Guna and um, young boy Jason because he has Twitter. T uh, what do you call it something? TikTok? TikTok. He has a TikTok thing. Brother, if 95 year old people up on TikTok, you're older than them, JD? <laughs> yeah, but true people know that I'm just. Uh, no, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you didn't know that I'm not really interested in those things and I'm not going to use it either. My father, everybody there on TikTok. No everybody man, you never come and tell about you old for TikTok. I say man on TikTok, we are 80 yard, we have, we have millions of followers. Yeah? All right. I, 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 I eat spicy food. I eat sour food and them stuff. Yeah, but I, 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 I was not going to eat no food. I, know, I, I, I will just buy. No, you have to go to the IMAX at football. I'm going to tell you an example. Yeah, yeah. You have to do some IMAX at snippets and some shots. Right? Yes, so yes, I, yes, yes. Yeah, so, and, 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 and it's a good market for going and, and, and because no other people are depend on the show Jamaican content like that, Father. Yes, so, so it's I, a good thing. I have not seen anybody gone on it. I have two followers. Um, or you, or you see the followers. Jamaican Guna. It pop up, man. It pop up there, man. Me just follow you a while ago. You just follow me. Then share it. Make other people follow JD, me. JD, yeah. Why you have two? Say you old. Okay, I see the followers then. Yeah, but it say me still have two followers. I had two followers before, and it still say me have two. Refresh, and and it, refresh, refresh. I refresh it. It says two. And then it have a little ticker says plus one, so I don't know if they have verified the followers and then it add to it. Yeah, man. So, yeah, so, so why why people acting like I'm old? Because it's still saying the same too. So clearly it's not it's not working. You know? Yes, and I re refresh it and it still says two, but it says plus two plus one. But me knowing algorithm systems, I just think they have to verify their followers as well as to they add them. So when they say the plus one, the plus one is registering and and, and then after it will come up uh, yeah, after man, time. I sure it, uh, I don't know, but, you know? Okay, okay. Me plus I'm uh, plus one father. I'm just following you a while ago. They said send me a gift and I will follow you. So why would I be sending gift? Uh, yeah. yeah, what is gift? Uh, you have to pay for people. That seems like you're giving people money, right? Something like that, don't. Some of them, some of them, some of them are giving money and some of them are not. Okay, okay. All right. So people, I've dropped the link. Um, only just follow me. Um, even if ten people follow me, that's good. A good start. And then in the future, I will put it up again. And then someday I will put I will structure it first. I have to do the um the Facebook as well, you know. Um he said stick to YouTube. I have not said um listen to me no big man, I've not said I'm going to go anywhere. I'm not gonna go anywhere, I'm gonna be on YouTube only. But I will just put the snippets and then put the link to the actual video. So if you caught the eyes of people, they will just come over here. Yeah, that's all. Yes, so it's pinned at the top, people. I can't find but the link. So it's pinned at the top. So um, if you want, you're interested, it's okay. All right. So thanks yet again um, for people. We don't share the links them nowhere. And the amount of people come here, it is very good. All right. So I am grateful for my uh, platform. And I do have Instagram and Twitter as well, which are, we have a lot of followers as well, I think. I don't know what... Um, what people think in Jamaica is a lot of followers. I have about 2,000 people and one and 500 people and one. I have not promoted them uh, much, you know, so, and I have not updated them much, you know, so I'm going to, I'm going to work on things, people, you know, yes, because I realize I can promote it a little bit more. So maybe I need to, to um, hire somebody to do that. Not big league lane, though, you know, not big league lane. Anybody else uh, than big league lane. <laughs> Big League Lang are going to tell me um, a bag of stories, you know. I mean, I get what I tell me, you know. Yes, and not Big League Lang. Um, TikTok is a mix-up platform. So, we're talking football. Mix-up is what you make it, Travis. Travis, YouTube a mix-up platform. If you do mix-up content. <laughs> The platforms they can't do anything. The platforms they can't do anything unless you do something to it. 
a people mix up. So when well, people mix up, you take a, a mix up person and put them on in the platform. Mix up, go on. No, say it go. <laughs> yes, I, I don't know. People, be, God, God damn, man. Why we don't just think before we talk? <laughs> because if something that is not a living being um, doesn't have any emotion and can't really type things on its own, how can it become a mix up platform? Educate me on that, Chevis. Oh, it becomes an, a mix of platform. Yes, that's that's what I'm saying, I think. And um, JD YouTube, um, YouTube a mix up platform to do. <laughs> yes, I, I I have listened to YouTube's and, and when I type in ja Jamaica, it's always some mix up things, you know. I can learn about an old lady and a young guy. Don't remember them name. I've learned about the general degree, the Ari Tadler thing, because I, I do type in Jamaica for the news. Right, to learn about the news. Um, right, thank you, thank you, Dima, for following me, man. All right, I'm, we're gonna blow up the thing, man. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna work on it. Um, I'm gonna learn as well. I know you can teach me about it, so I, I will learn about it. So, so it is always, it is always Jamaican. Uh, I think Jamaica is just a mix-up society. No disrespect. I think we're just a mix-up society because we are energetic. You know, we are upfront. We are in your face. So we are just a mix-up society, like mix-up type of culture. So, I don't think it's even disrespectful to say that we're mixed up, you know? <laughs> because I, I type in Jamaica, and the first thing, the most popular person was the one old lady and young guy, and people are talking about the two guys, the persons, them, I don't know them. And it was just all mixed up, and then six other channels is just mixed up, and then six other channels is just dead. And then we have TVJ, yeah. which I actually went there for. So I just think we have some mix up culture because of the how we how we designed. You know? The JB, the biggest news in Jamaica for the last two weeks is about one woman here, Alice and one bucket. I mean I'll uh, say the rest, but Alice and one Alice bucket. And one bucket. Yeah. The Alice. biggest news in Jamaica for the past two weeks is not anything about Spell out Alice. Alice. Because uh, Alice or A L I C E. A L I C E, yeah. Uh, L -L -L Alice and the bucket. And bucket. And bucket. All right, I'm gonna type it in just to prove to. Uh, we are just trying to um, bucket um, to Travis Alice, that Alice, <laughs> Alice and the bucket. Okay. All right, Alice and the bucket. Thirty-seven thousand views. Twelve thousand views. Um, Alice A S H T in a, at the bucket. Something like that. Yeah. And then I saw crab. Alice crab vendor. Going to jail for feeding public poo. All right, so fifty-seven thousand. Yes. Uh, okay, so you see, so you see, people, it's just our culture, you know. JD, really from Suriname. Oh, you you don't know about Era Circle. I know about Era Circle. I played in Era Circle. I went to John Mills at one point, you know. So I did, I did train in the era circle. So I know about it. But I don't know. Remember, I don't have these things on my devices. And when I'm done, I go to bed. And then I have to go do my work. And then come back, be with my family and everything. I, I, when I do YouTube, you know, it's just about information and football. So I don't really know much. And that's why I said you guys always keep me into the know. Um, um, as to what's going on because I would know about most of these things. Aside from the crime and violence. Because I do check that every single day. You know? Um, I do I check those things. Jamaica, Jamaica win them last too much. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, yes, Atta, it's, Daniel, yeah, 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 because eighty-four, eighty-four thousand, eighty-four thousand. So this, this, one hundred and forty-three thousand. The Dotty Berry Show. So I guess she's very popular uh, because she has a a lot of sh views, even more than songs. Ali is the crab vendor. Um, Eleven days, a white man went there, and um, I think he's there trying to sell the crab. So is he there to get views because he's eating it? And I think it's let me see the earliest one. Twelve days ago. So that means he knows about the crab and still went there to eat. Right? Okay. I never ex expected better. So you have one named David. Um, been been here. David's been here. Um, went to the crab place. After seeing those titles, so I guess he doesn't care. So go and check out David's being here. I think he went there to do some investigation. Investigation, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, I think it's a travel channel, you know? I think okay. It's a, it's a channel that's go about and try out food. 
No, okay, okay. Well, but so why you went there eleven days and then I saw the crab in the bucket thing is more than eleven no, no, days. No, man, so you went there after. Days, so you went there after. Yeah, yeah. Me tell you, I me tell you, that news that bigger than Jamaica win took them last two match. I score, I'm score more than three goals. That oh. bigger than the news, there, brother. Okay, when okay. We up on YouTube, right? Biggest news that Jamaica for the last two. Years. Okay, then, 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 we, then we need to talk about the bucket then. <laughs> JD, uh, JD, Jamaica is mixed up more than JD, Jamaica is mixed up more than anywhere else in the world. Um, I, Travis, um, you have a statistical report, and um, they said Jamaica used um, the internet more, more like in a percentage basis, which might not be accurate as to the personnel, the amount of personnel, because Jamaica only have three million. But as a percentage basis, um, we are on the internet a lot more than majority of the countries in the world. I think they said Jamaica is like top five with usage of the internet, and when they break down, broke down the usage as to what the usage were used for used for it was merely these clickable titles and that's why we can see videos on 200,000 views when we only have 3 million people so really and truly if that's the, on a percentage basis yes we would have been one of the highest mixed up country based on the percentage basis um Travis you, everything you can't just take on and you come at, you, Travis is like the ultimate protection shield for Jamaica. We are all born in Jamaica. And it's not a disrespect. It's the type of culture we have. We are an energetic type of culture. So why when it used to football and basketball and running, we cherish it. Travis and a Jamaican. Yes, I know Travis is just always protecting things when we don't know why I'm yeah, trying to protect. Yes. Me, uh, me, me. Chipping no, Jamaican, this can't be a Jamaican. Jamaican people know where we is. You think so? Afraid for so we mix up? Uh, um, that's not a, that's not an embarrassment for us because we're high energy people. So I, I so don't. Why, 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 why um, that's not a, that's not a, that's not a bad mark against a Jamaican. But people worse than we. But we, if you want to defend Jamaica, defend Jamaica because we are to defend Jamaica. But if you are gonna say we not mix up or we are not one of the most mixed up, we are the one of the most mixed up country in the world. And our usage of the internet is for social media. Other people use them internet more, more likely for shopping. Some use them internet more, more likely for um, for search. For for for, for um, some use it for, for seminars and for job. For, because they do them online classes. All right. So Everybody do them. So said. Uh, but, so media, all right. So Chavis said. Um, that video is long before the Ali situation at JD. The place, uh, the place us closed now. So people stop spread rumor. Um. Okay, Chavis, but we never knew. We just said why the white man went there after. Is he using um Jamaica for like a publicity or something? That's what I was asking. And you said that it was remember I don't know nothing, you know, it's just you guys told me to type this, you know. And that's why I just stick to what I know, you know. This is football, you know. That's why I don't try to go anywhere else. I just um talk football. You know, I don't know nothing else. Um I just I don't try to involve my thing myself into these things, so I'm very sorry because people are very much touchy. My goodness. Well, please, please, just someone just turn police and try to kill some of them bad man here in Jamaica. Because the way we want to protect Jamaica, me, I wonder why Jamaica can't have someone to turn police. Why when he can't turn police and just get rid of some of these mans? I saw mans on the internet telling how him, him bust out people's head and him kill a Dan and, and, and him just don't care. You understand me? So I think you guys need to turn police. We need more polices in the country. So all the protection shields. That's making up the stories to try prevent um, the reality from coming out. Just turn police, man. I will definitely support you. You know, at least give you some bus fare to go to work. Yeah, cause uh, you are doing Jamaica service. You know, yeah, man. <laughs> and JD, get a bucket. No, I am done. I am done. Travis get upset and me not, me not say nothing bad. Jamaica, we are special people. We are the greatest. I say with no apology. So when I can be the greatest as at bad things as well, Travis. So why when we talk about the greatest at as at uh, at good things, you only want to hear that, but you don't want the greatest at bad things as well, which we are. So why we can't just own it up just the same, Travis? Own it up you know, is to be informed, and then what we are gonna do about it when we own it up is different. You understand me? So that is how you solve things. You have to know what the problem is, Travis. But it's like once you say something, you just want to fight. You know? Jamaican Guna is actually a man that do music. 
And he knows, he knows how to write a song for make all the girls them jump, 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 jump. <laughs> and and in a mix up and a warp on the road, Jamaican Guna. So you never have to think in the minds of the, the girls them and to know that yes, you have to do it um on an energetic basis because you know what the culture is. You understand me? So you 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 use your knowledge to what the culture is to 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 do to do your business. And then a man yes. like Chevy said, tell you foolishness. And, yeah, brother. Me, One brother, second. and I asked me, I asked you. Miss, me can't tell you point blank. Who want to hide it, hide it. You, me not afraid to tell oh, people that? said Jamaica is, 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 a, is a high crime society and Jamaica is a mix up place. Jamaica mix up, bro. We love mix up. Make two, make two people start cut. Make a man and a woman start cut. And you're going to say every window start taking time and crack. And by the next day, everybody know everybody's business. Not tell me that. Jamaica is a mi I, bro, I'm there in a place, I'm there in a man bar already and say, so woman in there, I said, I'm going to so so um, so 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 drink and enjoy themselves. I'm going to tell me, want, me want to write one song, I just, me just give them something to drink and I just sit down and go and hold our vibes while they're there and talk to you. So, man, where them talk about that, I put in a song, brother. So, we are going to tell me, say, and I mix up. You mad? You want, Jamaica is mixed up, and that is why we make that, that is why dance is so hard for catching foreigners. Because Jamaica change fast. Now, if I was to do a song to my man, I'm going to say, yo, me not have no bucket like Alice. Everybody know me I talk about, but a man with a bucket, but, 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 but wouldn't know. Um, JD wouldn't know. If I go, if I do a song to my man, I'm say, me, 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 me slap her with Alice bucket. Everybody know what me I talk about, except JD. JD, I don't know. <laughs> but the mix up, mix up world know, old Jamaica know what me just say a while ago. You know what I said to you? So we have to be realistic, and that is the same thing that leak into the football where we become delusional. Because the reality is, Jamaica have great things about ourselves. Because me got Dubai, and when me got Dubai, is a picture I see we big like a building side of, of Usain Bolt. You think I feel proud of the Jamaican? If you know, say me I come to the airport and say one of my own. Of course, I feel proud of the Jamaican. And then no, I go some place and hear some man, do, um, some man got the people in the hotel before me reach there, but keep the people them far. You feel like me? I feel away when me know say me reach as, a, as the second Jamaican with them people I ever seen in them life, and them tell me they're the first Jamaican thief them far. So it, it's it, it, we have to take the good with the bad, and the same thing lead over into our into our football and into our culture and into our into our, in, and that is why our system is so corrupted in, and it lead down to the football and you know what I mean that is why it is it is it is how it is because people delude themselves. You are thinking that a man is gonna come and tell you say a, a man is gonna run for election is gonna come to and tell the whole world say oh I'm gonna run for JFF election and what I am gonna do is to make sure that. All that Jamaica's football side is mostly is mostly based on local talent, and this is what me a run pan. This is the platform me a run pan. Why you think me a run pan a platform? Because I know that some Jamaican think that, and that ignorance. Jerry. Um, one second, guys. I'm coming. Um, I'm just gonna get some information. Um, to give um, someone so Jamaican Guna continue talking. I will just get the information for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what I was saying, JD, uh, what I was saying, JD, and and, uh, the, and the family chat is 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 is, is, is that we as a culture have to be realistic. And once we become realistic, and as I said, we, because me are Jamaican too, we as a culture have to become realistic and it's like a leak into the society. And and it all, and, and, and a revolution starts with one person. You know, so you just need one person to forward in and just say them up, change certain things, and you're going to see how it does affect the system right across the board. So if, it, 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 all right, in America, right, they said that they wanted to ban certain things. They wanted to ban TikTok, wait, wait, wait. And people are saying it's a good thing to ban TikTok. And then when we are realizing that, TikTok is a Chinese app and Americans are like Chinese. So the people who are anti-Chinese are them did want to ban the app. So, so sometimes we see things up front and we think so people are gonna sell one story. Because if a man never thinking to now come and run on the platform, say him no one of foreign people in a Jamaica side. He must do it. Nobody is gonna run election to lose. So him thinking can win on that platform. That is why one of the people them running basically that he must say, he must say, yo, listen to me, I want it to be Jamaica centric. Uh, sorry about that, people. Yeah man, you can, yeah man, you go JD. Um, more wanted to be um, you know, Jamaica centric. He might run on that because I'm thinking he can win on that because there are people actually in Jamaica who actually believe say our best is not what we can pull from the world, which is which America is doing, pulling from Germany, pulling from them are Mexico in a regular fist fight, which I get one player. Mexico, 
I get player. Um, um, uh, Canada, I get player from players, and they ma welcome them. They might take Canada, I'll take player from Jamaica. You know, much players in the Canadian side qualify for play for Jamaica and not come play for it. Mm -hmm. Because they are saying, me not play for good because me are, yeah, because they are put them are welcome them. But we are saying, me know, uh, uh, you are who them foreign man, who them man, because that is the culture. So you think a man forward in now gonna run for the leadership of Jamaica's football administration? He's gonna uh -huh. run on something that he knows makes no sense because the whole world is going in a total different direction. Um, and Mark, uh, Mark Davis, uh, pick up, pick up. No, Mark Davis, come in. Um, talk about Belgium, one of the biggest racist countries in the world. Um. I am I'm, I'm in I'm in Belgium and to be honest I have seen um, less racism than what I've seen from Jamaican people uh, and I can say that without an apology obviously maybe I'm at the wrong place which I've said that before I've said that before but I clearly saw um, people um, which you would have been much more in line with you have people being because um, the last time person said Jamaicans can't be racist because we are we are we are minorities, but um, racist is ab about race, race and discrimination. I've seen more people flat out in Jamaica discriminating against people naturally, even in our space on football, as what Jamaica and Juna just talked about. We literally take racism for fun. We're, we're discriminating people in our culture is for fun. The rest of the world get penalized for it, Mark Davis. So you see, so many times we see these dodgy people, you don't have to come back here, Mark Davis, because clearly you're not educated enough to have a conversation. You understand me? Yes. So just, um, just, just relax. You get me? Yes. Because you're going to spin the narrative now, racial, but if you put the metric... Belgium is not in the top 10, not even in the top 10 of the most racist countries. No, and, and no, what they're going to do, they're going to say, yes, you yes, sell out and you yes, spin narrative. You never can get a, a solid reasoning with none of these people, uh, not, none of these type of people, because they're going to spin the narrative because they already have their preconceived notion built up. Every day we come up and say, where a white boy I go? Um, better say, if you, the same white man come to Jamaica and say, uh, where a black boy they go? Yeah, you require racism. So the problem is, um, is how we look at things. And uh, Mark Davis are them people are the problem. When we come here on the top, we say certain man can't play for Jamaica. Uh, the other day in time, we have our, our, our um, my boy, they come, come here. When Tyler Roberts come here. Me up on the public TV. I want them white man here play for Jamaica. If, if, we, if we had heard that on the white side to the black, we would have said that is racism. So we naturalize racism in Jamaica. So Mark Davis, don't come and talk to me. But because one thing about me, I stay solid in everything. I just look at it natural. Alright? Just natural. We have some of the most racist, racist attitude. But it's acceptable because we are black. That's all. So... Go, go educate yourself, Mark Davis. From morning, me see I try to draw the attention. I'm in a pain of mind because you're not worth it. You don't worth it. All right? Yeah, man. We brought up something and um, we, we, we've been saying our culture is mixed up. Um, and then you fight against it. Um, okay, then no problem. It's your take, your take. Everything you're going to say great about Jamaica. Well, stay at Jamaica now. And, and come off of YouTube and stay in Jamaica. Go swimming at the sea. I run going to make them shot in your ass. You understand me? Yeah, man, because fool, fool people like you know, I who not bring you on the country because they can't even talk the facts for actually educate people as to fixing the problem. And that is the one thing I can't stand about some of you know, people because they think you not protect something. Why you not protect? You not protect. Um, even yesterday, a man called me and told me about two persons died. And I said, but we have 17 double murders in Jamaica. So why are we not paying the attention to Jamaica rather than calling me in Belgium and asking me if me okay? I respect that, you know. Um, I respect you checking on me, you know. I respect that, you know. But why we avoid what are going on in Jamaica is like we are, we are trying to um, con convince ourselves that we can't do nothing about it. Why we can't do nothing about it? If we spread the damn word, it will be better. The reason why they catch the criminal in Belgium is because people spread the damn word. You see the difference, Jason? And people put it out in the news and share it around fast to catch the people. Them. In a Jamaica, it's like we are trying to find a way to make them on a continent killing people. You understand me? Um, um, oh, um, Rebel Guru said, JD, are you, are you saying Jamaica is more racist? No, I have said, 
I have witnessed in, in more racism in, from Jamaicans, because I'm not in Jamaica. Um, I have witnessed more racism from Jamaicans on YouTube than what I've witnessed in Belgium. That's what I've said. Maybe, and I've made sure to tell you that I am not in the, in the road every day walking on, up and down in Belgium because I'm not living that life. So I'm not going to tell you say, that's my, that's my life, lifestyle. So maybe someone else can have a worse experience. I've not said that. You understand me? I've not said I've lived in there. You get me? So I'm not live that, living that lifestyle. I just do my work, come back, do my pity, and do my thing. So what I've witnessed is completely different, rebel guru. So I'm, I'm just making sure. So a person can be in Belgium and living in Antwerp every day. They can have different um, um, viewpoints to it. All right, but me interacting with people, I don't get the same thing because what I've realized with the rest of the world, every other color in the world, trying to make sure they don't aggravate especially black people i don't know if you get that feeling jason going overseas i don't know if you get that same feeling every other culture um not this is not for jamaica only every other culture try to make sure they tip it to around black people our people always so uh and then when we are talking we speak freely about every other culture and disrespectful as well I don't know. JD, we have we have to we have to we have to get we have to look at it um, objectively. Some some of this is ideology. I'm uh, brainwashed. Some people have been brainwashed to think a specific way, and some of it is 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 politics. And a lot of people don't understand the, the effects that politics have on their daily lives because them not, them not feel like in, in, it's important. It's 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 politicians who, who decide which water is imported into your country if water is imported any at all. So that is why I'm saying to you, a lot of things are are far ahead of what people are thinking jamaica's crime situation is down to corruption and and and, and politics you think say if the man them they decide say, no gun can't come in and no gun can't come in you are gonna tell me say that no seriously no missile can't come in at jamaica why can't come in because somebody can stop it but there are other things that are coming at jamaica where them don't want to stop so when you hear people talking as if not now going oh i'm to you the system good and then when you look upon the crime statistics globally and you say per capita jamaica the right in the top five then people start thinking jamaica in the top five above war zones bro war zone literal war zone like where people are war like real mama and i run up and down where they are and ak out in the road <laughs> jamaica is above them people in the crime statistics brother per capita meaning say the amount of million we will have, oh, yeah. like say per hundred thousand. We're not supposed to have so much debt per hundred thousand, and we have way more than we're supposed to have. That is why we rated at top ten. Uh, Nobody uh, not talk about that. Top, uh, top ten. Um, JD people are um entitled to their own opinion. <laughs> no, but um some people come in disrespectful, telling you you should not talk. Thus, thus go and disrespect you, um Orlando, and that is not their opinion. They are disrespecting him. So we know of opinion from persons trying to disrespect you. You understand yeah, but me? Because a man is entitled to something that I mean, say you for share it. Nobody never asks your opinion. And, 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 but if you want, but, but, no, but, but, but he was on, he was he was here. Um, and if he asked me a question, because the other day persons asked me if I witnessed racism, and I said once when I was looking a job, um, going into school, and I made the call, and when I went there, they closed the door at the time, and then I I gave them the follow up a few times um, after. So things reached me, but I'm just saying what I saw here, the way we disrespect people, it is like because we are black. We cannot disrespect anybody because Tyler Roberts is not a white guy. He's a half cast. And the way oh, I saw them treat the man. And we are comfortable to do these things. Because we're going to blame that we're not educated in um, those. Um, we are not versed in certain places. So we need to stop with this racism thing. Does jump out and racism thing. Because we are doing the same damn thing. And we are not taking accountability for it. So until I can see you guys taking accountability as to how we speak, then I can talk about racism thing with you. Know, but I'm not going to talk about Matalan it. Matalan white. Every Jamaican in the ESM say more than rich like Matalan. But Matalan are white. Yeah, yeah, but yes, still disrespect. But I'm just trying to show them that they are doing. You're, you're trying to look towards culturally. You're looking towards a white Jamaican to say, okay, you want rich like that man. But at the same time, you're not like white Jamaican. You All see, right. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I look. It's, it's I, that confusion where where them them being indoctrinated and 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 and, and, and brainwashed. If you think a specific way, and then when you push it, when you push the narrative that they're saying, when you, when you, when you say, okay, let's explore why you are saying it, then they, then them crumble. 
because they, 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 it's cannot be backed up by facts. Yeah, and the uh, conversation started to mix up, and then it has, it has, flex, flex, it has, flex, 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 flex. I know you said back to football, but sometimes we need to do these things because I think social, uh, so socializing is one of our lowest point in our culture right now. Okay, that's why you have a bag of screw face man um, that wants to shoot up people, you know. So socializing and touching hard topics. Um, obviously, I know this is not for football, but I remember we were here to help Jamaica. So anything that we, we learn and we can expand on it, I will always re be ready to take it on. You understand me? Yes, and that's why I will do speaking and all of those things. Here, Owen Owen say later, guys. I'll Owen Owen, I want to hear when Nah, yeah, yeah. Owen Owen, go ahead. Owen Owen, go on with business, boy. But later, guys. You don't want to hear about reality. We only want to stay in our fantasy zone and help people back our yard. You see all you Owen? Here, you got to tell me where you got to work now. Don't go tell me where you got to work now. A true we are talking about this. You know what? I'm going to done the stream then because nobody at Jamaica don't want to hear about reality. You get me? And don't want to hear about fixing things. It's all right. And most of the way, with the foreign, we don't want to add to nothing for help no Jamaica. Nothing at all. We just want to say we are Jamaican and that's it. And then the whole of people them dead off of Jamaica. But it's okay. Let me leave it alone. Um, yeah. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. I would just leave it alone because I realize that's how we can't reach nowhere. You know? We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't talk on no topic. We can't say the truth. We can't teach people nothing. So then what? So what people might just go down the drain. So we all just walk around, disrespect people, um, and just act like we, we're entitled to everything. Uh, and no one work for nothing. So that's why you got scamming. Because we're entitled to everything. You know, sister, we are make the people them what we actually despise. We are make the people them that we actually despise. Because of our dirty behavior, sometimes we need to say something. Because when we don't say nothing, a them people will make. A bag of people, when they are chop and all them educated for chop all old man, we are 84 year old. You know, in a sense, man, you want dunce. You know, yeah, man. So, it's okay. I'm not going to get upset. I will just leave it alone and stay towards football. But I am passionate about it because I know that if we put our mind the same dirty mind that we have in criminality, we can actually put it to something and help the country. You know? Yeah, and I mean, I like when time people um, outside Jamaica and don't want to stand up for something when them know say them have a vice that people will listen to. You know, I don't respect those people, but it's so, okay. I'm not against what you're saying. I never, no, you said yeah, yeah, go, yeah, go away. So I just get upset. Kind of friend, you say yeah, go away, I mean, you know, but it's okay. I will stay with football. I, I, I know I understand when I'm coming to Jamaica space, don't talk nothing about nothing else. Because <laughs> Jamaica go there yesterday. Um, one one coming the one when him um Dr. Eero him get upset because true um I, I've talked about the same thing when persons checking for me, which I respect where people checking for me for save me all right. I mean I say boy, you know, say Jamaica go on bad in you know, a brother, a seventeen double murder, you know, around six triple murder in the last three weeks and, and three to four quadruple murder will go on here. You, know. you know the first thing Dr. E Dr. E say, but JD in America and a unit, um, you, America, no, Canada, in a Canada, a whole heap of double murder go on, a true it come on TV. So I said to him, say, brother, going at the last two years of America, uh, in a Canada, and show me 50 double murders in a Canada. Just, just go there and find it and show me. Him, him get upset, I say, me, say me, me like, me like go up with my feelings. But the fact that me I try identify something, and you try deflect, and then one come, cast one, JM come, oh, um, Belgium it kill, kill 17 million people back, the day, back in the days in a Congo, and all sort of thing. Me never, me I talk about RAS today. Me I talk about today. Me don't know if Belgium will kill nobody in Congo today. I know so Jamaicans are killed Jamaicans today. So what, what ras wrong with them egotistic people, man? It just get on my nerves. Like, the man them does not care. Them does, not, them does want the country to run down. It's like some of them people are profit off them money and kill people. Or something. Them does love the flick. And then go up with them feelings. <laughs> JD, um, it's like 1% of crime. 1% of Jamaica committing um, crime. So don't lump up um, all together. But that's a problem, warrior. It is the, it is the people where support. It, it, look, you have 1% that commit the crime then. But you have 65% of the country that actually support the crime. 
You wouldn't agree with that, Warrior? You have 65 percent that support the crime. But I'm telling you, that, 65. That, that, that's what Warrior said a while ago is not even a good thing. If one percent of Jamaica committing the crime, and we are at the top five most deadliest countries in the world. That is not a good statistic, my bro, G. 1%? So imagine if it go up to 2. That, not, that is not a good statistic. That's not something you ever mentioned. Me would even want to hear that. Because that not sound good for you to know, say so a 1% of people All are right. coming so course. much crime that put Jamaica on the top 5 most, most deadliest countries on the planet. On the planet. That's not something we have to talk about, bro. I tell you. And, 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 and as a man who go out there in a rural, brother, and, and experience different things and different... Brother, it's a serious problem, brother. So we, are, we, we can't go around it. And nobody... Uh, oh, let's get back to football. What, who play football? Uh, 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 some stick play football or what? No, what, 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 I know, I know which Jamaican... Fellow Jamaicans then play football in the JPL and uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but the people the people must say um the, the program turned into politics watch. You know what? Let me just done. Let me just done because we can't talk about the reality of this. It's like people use these programs. No, but the what, about but with Jamaican go now. What I'm saying people use these programs to deflect from reality. No. That's what I realize. Yeah, no, so when we no touch reality, as some stick play football and some plastic bag. <laughs> and a human being, and a woman fellow Jamaicans them out there playing uh, football. Football has don't get affected by crime and criminal activity. It not affect them. So our football, let's talk about football, um, JD, because we're talking about football. Let's talk about football in a void because as some plastic bag play football. And, and, uh, and Mr. And U- Mr. Uni- Mr. United says That's there it. there was a black girl in a zoo in Belgium, and and that still won't make me a racist. Um. Um, Mr. United, can you can you um, not manipulate a situation? You, you, you state state what you're saying and make sure you give it the time and everything. All right, because that means you're going against what I'm saying, as in like putting the actual context there. And that's how we have conversation. The okay, um, there is a black girl in a zoo, so I can go there and video it and show the rest of the world. Please provide it to me today. Let me go there. And prove to Jummy, prove to everybody that that's going on, and I will definitely call out the racism. So please educate me on that. You get me? I can't talk on things that I don't know. So if you have the information, you provide it to me, man. I'm not telling me to go a road. I'm a barely know about TikTok, so I'm going to know about, about people in our zoo. But me, me, me yeah, assume yeah, that yeah, if yeah, it's yeah, today, that's true, you know, that's true, that's true. no, but I assume if I did today. Um, but me assume if I did yeah, today. There's a man called King Leopold, man. I want, I want, I want one of the most evilest man. But I King, you yes, say King Leopold. That not, not, that not long time ago, J- Jamaican Guna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we just say it happening in history. So Okay, you know, okay. So. But but he must say it as if, like, I know. So it confused me. You get me? Because me, I want if I can go to see it. No. Mr. People are bad about something that happened 400 years ago. You think the people are bad about something that happened? Hundred years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, that a... years ago, slavery, you know. And you hear, you hear black Americans still talk about slavery like the ex Okay. Slow, okay. Like have, yeah, but me have to make sure, me have to make sure because me, me have something I want to know that I definitely racism and before it was racism as well too. You understand me? But me, 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 me the, somebody asked me if what I go in the country now is racism. Me can't connect the hundred year thing ago to today. That it would, that wouldn't be a fear. <laughs> I fear, look and think, and oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something that I mean, my bias, you understand me? So that is why I try to figure out the time stamp of the things, them. Because remember, I'm going to know, so you have to just educate my people. All right? Yeah, man. Jamaican, Jason, Jason, you saying something? No. Okay. Listen. Okay. May I, we... may I try to figure out if I need that voice box when I talk now, because I politics watch and, you know, you okay. care to have your real voice for them things there, so, you know? Welcome, people. This is yeah, man. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm just trying to. <laughs> uh, nobody take away my range. Um, why people will take my range? For what reason? Um, what, what's up? Why on all over the place today? We are, we, guys, what we're going to do, I'm going to structure a channel where we can talk about anything Jamaica or anything in the world. We just want to talk about things in the world and we just have our vibes. 
You know, because I'm tired of people telling me about get back to football. I'm done with the football. Canada going to play Jamaica. We're better than Canada by 50 miles, so we're going to slap them up until the time come and the game play. You understand me? Yes. So, I hear about that already. <laughs> All right. So, people, um, we have our difference in opinions, but we want the country to be better. And I am not going to stop speaking out. All right. I'm from Jungle, from Waltham. So I'm going to always start the truth, you know. I'm going to always come out and say people do better. And um, Mark, Mark Clown Davis, you can't tell me what to talk about. My partner in Jamaica, I'm more likely me might be older than you and actually survive more problems in Jamaica than you. And I want other people pitness can survive. I wish them kill you in the number of people them. And, and make some of the people who want to speak out live. Straight up. You understand me, yeah, man? Because somehow I get on my nerves, you know. Because somehow I have the problem. So I don't talk. Um, JD, then you, you are going to see the real mix of 1,000, uh, 100,000 views per video. All right, all right. Yeah, man. We are going to mix up. We are going we are gonna to do it now. We are going to admit so we mix up and do we mix up. It shows them. <laughs> so Jamaica and Guna and Jason, so give you a final point. Then we leave them because they say we can't talk nothing. We are going to Jamaica and we will stick to football. So. Yeah, well, Jamaica... <laughs> Um, versus Canada. Um, you look at me. Jamaica beat in Canada by four goals, so nil. You look at me. If you don't want to come check me, you can check me for two pounds and you look on back. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So, yeah. So that is it. Jamaica can beat Canada four goals to nil. That is it. That's my final say on that. <laughs> Jason, give 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 a non politics watch um, statement. All right, <laughs> I, I'm very that sorry that I said is... the man I'm a cosmic or Jason said the guy should have dead. Yeah, yeah no, I, I was gonna I was gonna bring that up in my final thing. Like that, that's the one thing, JD. That's what I say. You don't even I know you don't mean it literal or anything, but that that kind of far for God. You say you want the man get killed and everything. So. People just know say sometimes when it when it when it when the thing I go back and forth it can get away. But yeah, we're not condone them type of violence step on the channel. And and JD would have said that himself as well. So we're not we're not have to worry about that. But yeah, just to close off, um just excited, you know, hope that the players can stay healthy. Um the ones who weren't healthy get healthy. Because as I was said, saying in the beginning when I first came on, I think this window is gonna be crucial to just get the, the full complement of the players. Because I believe that um, Canada will be taking these two games serious and they will have their full complement if, if people are there. So I want to see the best going against the best. And um, hopefully the coach come up with a plan that, that can see us through, through this tie because, you know, we've been playing the big teams and we haven't been able to beat them. You know, we're getting some draws. So the next step now is to get a win. So looking forward to it and... Just waiting to see how, how the guys progress in them in, with them clubs and hopefully nobody get no serious injury. So we can have everybody come in and come play. And Jamaican Guna prediction can come true. All right. All right. So um yes, people, yes, people. Um Jamaica Jason, well said, well said. All right, said I said something wrong. So I'm very sorry, but what I was trying to say is um a them people should be dying in Jamaica, the people where I always I try to deflect. Because them are the problem. The other people who really want Jamaica being a better place, they will take up the phone and go inform, to educate, to pass knowledge to someone to, to stop the crime and violence. That's what I, what I was trying to lead towards. So if people just took the, the statement vague, um, that was a big problem there. You know, we need to start taking things serious. You know, cut out this lack of no informing. If a man uh, do something down the road, they tell the police or tell somebody, where if you don't want to come back to you, forget to read of the person, you know, um, to make sure the country can be a little bit more lively because we can make more things and do more things. So I, I just wanted the best for the damn country, but it looks like um, we can't talk, you know. So I stop talk, I don't talk, you know. Yeah, I can't talk, no, talk. I'm not even come back later. I'm not come back later. I'm done. I'm done for the day. I'm going to stay in Belgium as well. I'm claim the same if I stay in Belgium. Yeah. So the other man them can't stay. The other man them they are foreign pan Jamaica uh, pan, pan went again. But through them I say what I say. And I, I agree with you know them more Jamaican than me. So me can't talk. Okay, it's alright. It's alright, man. So yeah, man. So thanks Jamaican Guna and Jason. Africans never turn up because I'm afraid of the Jamaican them. 
<laughs> she for the Jamaicans are in the turn up, you know. Yeah, so Africans will will do um some more streams uh, with us in the future, so you can get more from a, a Canadian perspective and stuff. Yeah, um, we got Max. It yeah, it's okay, man. Um. Uh, no, 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 me, 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 me not, me not pay them the mind. I just tell the people, I said, just make Jamaica better, man, because a lot of we want to do more things for Jamaica, but sometimes, you know, can't even talk to them people because I saw them, um, act, like they must want to body up, you know, you them take your things and just want to body up and tap it too, as well, too. And they have to do them something, you know, yeah, and you don't want to add to the statistics, you know, yeah. <laughs> No Africans no. Um Africa no Africans don't want forward. Uh, no man cry me. I'm gonna say I try to explain something, you know. But one Mark Davis a ramp with man and uh, uh, you know, uh I make him a pass a couple of times when him come and chat chat of him out. Like him did me a fool, you know? Yeah, so he won't come back with him foolish instead. We choose to do things good, you know, and try to help the youth them for do more good things. So people, me now waste some time. Uh, one one bag of good things up on Jamaica made it to the next round. That is facts. Um, we had um, we we thought we are gonna have the best out of the the bunch of A one and A two, but uh, Panama uh, went over. And to be honest, any one of them got got a, re, a, a, a Trinidad had the result. Trinidad would have been above Jamaica as well. So more than likely, it would have always been the Canadian, um, um, the Canada match. Being that no, and and this is where before we go, before we go, I want to have this conversation before we go. I'm not going to shut the show till we go. The f final point: Is it fear that they put both the, the games them separate? And separate days, like group some separate days. Because now a man know what he need to qualify. Is it that advantage one group, people? Because I think it is, you know, I want you Jason take on it. And Jamaican Kuna cool, would just shut up the damn show from there. But I think that is not fear. Panama them know. Um, Panama them know. Um, what's required? Trinidad them know what's required, and them have two, three days to plan up. You know. Yes, JD. At at face value, that is unfair. Um, the whole entire reason to end the group stage with the three games playing simultaneously, so that nobody can plan, and that is why when we were discussing how we thought it was going to go. I was arguing that they should use the rankings to, to, to do it. Because, yes, on one side, it's unfair that Trinidad get more points than Honduras. But because Honduras rank higher, Trinidad would get a tougher opponent. But on the flip side of that, Trinidad and Honduras, Trinidad get two more days for plan more than Honduras. So it depends on where you want to put the emphasis. So to me, it does unfair all around. The game, I'm sure I just, it should, I'm sure I play six games. Oh, time six games lap. play one day. Done. Same time. Nobody can get an extra point. Nobody, you, you, so you know, no one. Obviously, you will still get communication, but at least you can change up things and plot out things before a whistle blow. So you can plan out things days in advance. You know that you have to play a hollow out attacking system where they know that you have to transfer the hollow out attacking system on the field at the same time to fit what's going on in the other matches. Like Eddie and Suriname and Eddie and uh, you, you realize how Eddie changed your game? That helped Jamaica as well, you know? Because now they have to come out now and play all out um, to try. You, you, you get me? So those things change results. So when I look back at it, I'm saying, ah, I know that was not fair. So I just wanted to bring bring that out. I think CONCACAF, they have caused a lot of confusion. And I will just leave it right there. But I think it's not fair them getting two extra days to know exactly what, what's required. You know, because remember, they are not playing the other teams. I mean, and the other teams them up there already. Uh, their games finished and lock and loading, waiting on them. No, I think all six games should have played. So, CONCACAF, take that one. All right. Six games should have been played at once. At once. And I totally agree with that. Six games at once. Uh, J Jamaica, do not. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, who, is, who is playing in the second, the second, second set of games? The second set of games are all teams in Group A, but Jamaica cleared their the Jamaica Honduras qualified two days before. But remember, because of how they structured it, you have A one and 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 A two, so you know what's required for A two 
before you go into the games them so you can strategize what's needed to beat this team by such and such amount of goals you know exactly before you go on and that's why in the premier league in all leagues is they the play US, everything at the same is time is us in a to our a1 um you no usa no you and and that as well usa and uh, as they know um usa will be in a2 in the opposite bracket so remember they are they are they are, they are second in the conga cup and mexico is a1 all right and then the same thing the same thing uh, that's how it works okay. okay so why i ask is because there's this ongoing conspiracy theory that that um that conga cup is rigged so I, I i just wanted to know that because a lot of people are saying um CONCACAF is rigged because financially for them it is always better when the usa and mexico make it to a finals they make more money yeah man yeah man that is that is noted that is noted and that and that was okay but we are talking about even the other side because it not just it rigged for them to 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 be in certain stages because they are already in the quarterfinals you know remember that's how it goes they are already in the, the quarterfinals right um but not just them and, 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 and in the quarterfinals it it serves that trinidad end up to the quarterfinals so what that makes now trinidad will be playing um usa so it makes an easier team get out because of how they structured it from natural and that's what we're saying they are trying to set up not just to see them um close already they are trying to make sure the part is easier for them as well because I knew that we were going to get a slip up you know, from one of these teams. You know. If you look at the two games in that Curacao played um, Trinidad, you knew that if Trinidad had six games to play, they weren't going to qualify. You knew that because they had to play Panama. You understand me? And if they played Panama and other teams, they are going to lose points. You understand me? Yes. So for me, for me, I think this four game and the how they play the games them late um, on different days, it kind of set it off, um, to be honest, you know? And I, I think they could have dealt with it better. So that is something that we need to investigate in, you know? Yeah. Um, football um usa mexico and canada will never be in the same group rest of the region is broke yes that is true but i'm just trying to show people we can look at it from that side as well but it's okay it's it's okay so all right people we finished that statement uh that segment that we had and we completed everything all right so oh neil calling lord god <laughs> so the show can't done. Neil, what are you going on? Yeah, the minute I was there, I was there, I was there, I was there, I Hold on, hold on, the big boss, I never hear you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, Neil, go ahead, go ahead, big boss. I never hear you. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I was there, 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 I Certain teams because if you look funny, and you just play Cuba two times and play Grenada, yet you never get to play Grenada, you have to play twice up as much against Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So, I think you really unfair. And that's why, from the other day, you may say, really unfair from 80. Even mm -hmm. then, you get a lot of fine, but 80, I think, you enjoy first match against Cuba. If you have another match, I think 80 would have beat Cuba. We have something on the, 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 look here, guys. We have something on the screen right now. Look at this. The teams that's playing each other is Eri, Jamaica, and Honduras, and okay. all three of them are the highest ranked team in the same group. Then you have Cuba, Suriname, and Guatemala. Uh, no, Grenada plays others, but they, they have each other to play with as well. Why you couldn't just make sure mm -hmm. each one of them play play each one of the top teams twice? They could have done that, you know. They could okay. have made um okay. Grenada played one of the top two teams them twice, not Suriname twice. Yeah. They could have made um Honduras played um Honduras did play Cuba twice, and then um for mm. uh, for Jamaica, they could have made Jamaica played Suriname twice. And then uh, others uh, fill out the bracket them from there. It, it, would not, wouldn't that make more sense, Jamaica and Gunnar Jason? That would have made more sense, you know? Yeah, I think it was very unfair and yet, really. And at that time, you may have to say, yeah. I think it's unfair and yet because oh, Andrews play a weakest team twice. And yet, he played Jamaica twice. 
Yeah, you know agreed, that? agreed, agreed, agreed. You understand? So, 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 so that was it. If we, um, me as I look for it, I may say, EAT, because EAT can't in the B League. And team in the A League right now, we EAT, we are better. <laughs> yeah, because look, Martinique, you know Martinique stayed up. Martinique is 11th rank team. Trinidad stayed up 10th rank team. Cuba stayed up 13th rank team. Um, Suriname, 17th rank team. They stayed up as well. All right? And then, uh, yeah, then EAT going down. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so it is, it is true, it is true. Come, come now all to him, him, a close of thing. So all right. Later. Yeah, man, all right, all yeah, right. Man. All right, so people, people, yes, Nigel said this is a long show, and we just did three and a half hours, so it tells you we normally don't do this. So people, smash the like button, share, and subscribe. Thanks for um, the continuous um, support. Blake Hilton, yes, the show done. Pull it up back from the top and watch it for the first two hours. It was amazing, and we enjoy ourselves. So me, I got to look some food down, people. So big up, big up. Thanks again, Jason and um, Jamaican Guna. Massive respect, people. Bye-bye.